Thanks. It, it not at all a small introduction. It was a long list with a lot of uh, details. I don't think uh, you have uh, anything anything missed uh, uh, from uh, from the from the list. Anyway, uh, uh, well, uh, right. Uh, I am. Uh, Right. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, well, uh, thank you very much once again uh, uh, for inviting me for your uh, for your university. As uh, as you clearly stated, I'm the former. I, I was the former FUTA president, and uh, you know, uh, for FUTA people, uh, Open University is not a not a new place. Actually, all our uh, FUTA activities from 2010 to 2000. Uh, 16, uh, yeah, I think even after my, my um, I left the FUTA also, there were many uh, activities, actions happen uh, in, in FUTA uh, with and around, in and around uh, Open University, even recent past, I, I know there were certain incidents happen and uh, uh, all the universities gathered around uh, Open University. So all are, all are with different, different uh, pluses and minuses. I didn't want to take them, uh, take them here, but uh, uh, one important thing I want to highlight, uh, well, uh, the Open University is not a new place for me. I, uh, it was almost like my own university. Uh, I was, I, I used to, uh, uh, I think, uh, not your faculty, but uh, the, the faculty of sociology, where Mahim, uh, uh, Harini, Devi, uh, and all these people stays. So I, I, I used to uh, come there and uh, had uh, participate for different uh, different events, different meetings, and your former vice chancellor, Ambahan, was a very good friend of mine. So we were closely working uh, in a lot of professional uh, uh, places. So there were a lot of uh, known, uh, known faces, known figures, uh, uh, seniors to juniors that are working with me even now. And uh, there are a few graduates from Open University that are currently working with me as uh, uh, research students. So I have a long uh, relationship with Open University. I, it's, it's really hard. Uh, sad to uh, have you, uh, uh, you know, meet in a virtual environment like this. But uh, I, I'm so happy if I uh, had the opportunity of uh, coming to the Open University uh, and uh, talking to you face to face. Unfortunately, uh, due to COVID, uh, I, uh, I I lost that particular opportunity. So I, I'm, I'm sure that was a that will be a definitely a good opportunity for me to come to the Open University again and uh, have a have sort of a uh, fruitful discussion with you all. But anyway, uh, keeping all uh, them aside, uh, anyway, uh, thanks to COVID, we got the opportunity to talk about the technology and the technology transfer. So the, the topic given to me without wasting much time, let me uh, move to the topic straight away. Uh, uh, topic is a very, uh, uh, I could say it's, 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 a, uh, it's a complicated topic uh, as an uh, as a, as a like university academic because we are not... Uh, we are not really geared as civil, uh, Sri Lankan uh, uh, university academics. We all know that we are not uh, geared into uh, uh, commercializing uh, 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 research. I mean, commercializing research. We do research. I'm not going to say that we are not doing. We are not doing research. We do a lot of research, but uh, uh, yeah, we we don't uh, go into commercializing and you know transferring that to the the community. We do research. We do a publication and. Uh, the publication or the thesis will lie on the uh, the university library somewhere, and that's it. Not no, not technology transfer. I can recently, uh, not recently, two years ago, there was a there was a very very sad uh, post in the Facebook uh, uh, with uh, with a big uh, bundle of uh, thesis uh, uh, just uh, throwing and burning uh, in, in somewhere uh, in a university. I'm very sure those are MSc uh, uh, thesis uh, dissertations, but they someone is burning uh, this dissertation and the post was saying okay the universities are doing are they really transferring their their findings to the community so that was the topic uh, so uh, i was really uh, really uh, uh, sad to see that sort of a thing but anyway that is what is happening even though you don't burn them that is what is happening uh, in many of the universities including uh, including uh, i mean uh, 
you and I. So we do research, but we don't uh, take them to the uh, to the community. Uh, uh, this is this is mainly uh, mainly uh, uh, something uh, which is present in Sri Lanka because uh, uh, straight, uh, yeah, I can't say developing countries. Uh, in even in developing countries, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, new things happening. But uh, new things happening uh, in universities and uh, even Sri Lankan uh, academics, they go and work in these uh, developing country uh, universities and they do a lot. But unfortunately, when they are in the university system in Sri Lanka, we don't do much to the community. But uh, all of us, I think, uh, from uh, grade one to uh, your uh, your graduation and even after the graduation to do your postgraduate studies and even after you get the postgraduate studies and come and join with your respective university from there today you are paid by the public of the country i mean we have a question for us to ask ourselves whether we have done the justice have we have we really did our duty to serve the the community who spent our education so Keeping that in mind, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to my uh, topic, uh, as I said, as an academy, very complicated, very difficult. One is the technology, the other one is transferring the technology and commercializing. So I thought of uh, uh, entering to this uh, topic uh, uh, with a few questions. Uh, so I will, uh, I, I want you to have a, have a more interactive sessions. We have three hours, so I will, I will, I will spend one hour uh, to discuss uh, uh, yeah, through a small presentation and then uh, I will move into uh, uh, the discussion. So I don't want anybody being silent at the discussion because you all, you know, the academics or you postgraduate students. So I'm very sure you have a lot of questions. I'm, I'm trying to generate uh, questions through the, the presentation. So then and there I will be able to discuss uh, when, uh, we, when, when we uh, when we uh, are discussing at the, at the, at the, at the final Q&A session. So, uh, uh, from that, uh, let me uh, move to my uh, move to my presentation. Uh, uh, as I said, it's the technology and not the, the the technology. It is about the technology trans and commercializing. So I uh, I when I when I present or when I when I develop this particular presentation, I got few questions. So I thought like I should uh, post them to you, pitch them to you for you to have your own uh, uh, answers. At the same time, for you to. Uh, uh, find uh, find more and more questions on the on the related topic. So uh, the questions are this. First one, uh, any lessons to cover? I mean, uh, is there anything uh, which we can learn from the past? Uh, is it is it all about uh, transferring technology which have developed to the community or to someone else? Or haven't we taken any lessons from the past, from the from the nature, from the from the environment? So that is one big question I have in my mind when I'm preparing this presentation. What are the lessons learned from the history? Is it, is it everything new? I mean, like, uh, can we start from the, uh, the stretch and uh, develop something and uh, transfer back to the other uh, community or sell that to the, the uh, some company? Is that the, the real case? Or are we, are we also uh, have uh, got some technology uh, from somewhere uh, someone or rather someone develop or from the nature itself. So that is number one question I want to discuss with you. Number two, uh, what we need to develop. I mean, to transfer, yeah, there should be something uh, you need to you need to develop, right? So yeah, I think uh, I kind of request all of you to uh, mute your mics. Uh, please, I know. Uh, uh, you all uh, uh, all uh, very busy uh, people, but please make sure when you before when you join the webinar, uh, this is uh, this is not a webinar uh, package. Otherwise, uh, the admin could be able to unmute all the people. But this is a, a meeting uh, uh, license. So uh, uh, either I, unless you mute your mic, uh, I don't think no one else will be able to mute your mic unless you trans uh, unless they transfer back to the waiting room. So uh, please uh, uh, mute your mic uh, when you are joining the uh, the webinar. Uh, kind request. Uh, uh, so uh, we were discussing about what are the problems uh, uh, we need to solve uh, when are we talking about this particular topic. As I said, uh, is there any lesson uh, to be learned uh, from the history? Is it just you know passing uh, the technology or you develop something and you are you are, you are transferring, you are commercializing that particular thing, or or you you also get uh, the technology from somewhere or someone or some some place has transferred the technology to you. So that need to be uh, sorted at the very beginning. And uh, the second big question is what we need to develop. So you can't just uh, 
you can't just uh, uh, develop just because you, you you are creative just because you have the knowledge you can't just develop something you can do that but uh, can you can you commercialize that that is another uh, the second big uh, question uh, you should have to have in your mind if you are if you really want to uh, innovative creative and uh, uh, transfer the, the knowledge uh, or technology to another party so the se second question and the third question is to whom we are uh, we need to develop that is the third big question so uh, Yes, of course, we need to develop a technology that is a different case, but to whom we are going to develop the technology? Is it, uh, is it, uh, is it to uh, one single person or is it to a country? Is it to a, uh, is it to a big, uh, 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 larger community or is it beyond the, the boundaries of the other country? To whom we are going to develop your technology? That is another big question you need to answer uh, when, you are, when you are thinking about this particular topic. The other one, how we need to develop. So to whom you are, uh, you are going to develop, what to develop and how you are going to develop. So that those are three big questions starting uh, with the first, uh, you have four questions now. The other one is how to protect it. Uh, so you develop something, you can't just give away that without keeping your right, your, your intellectual property. That is uh, the, uh, the fifth big question. The last one is transfer uh, for money or uh, free so that's up to you i mean whether you are going to transfer that uh, uh, to uh, to someone uh, for money or free of charge but whatever said and done you need to protect your uh, invention you need to protect your intellectual property then only you can think of a transfer so let me uh, let me uh, repeat the uh, the, the six uh, questions i have stated one is uh, what are the lessons learned uh, from the history uh, is it just uh, transferring your knowledge or you also got the, uh, the knowledge from somewhere else or how to start your uh, stuff and what need to be developed and to whom you need to develop and how we need to develop the, the stuff and how to protect it and then how you're going to transfer whether for money or free of charge. So those are the questions I'm going to cover uh, throughout, my, uh, throughout my presentation and also uh, throughout the, uh, uh, the final discussion. So I, I, I really uh, request you to bring up your uh, questions uh, with the with the same areas uh, which you are, uh, which I have stated here. So uh, let me go to my uh, uh, first uh, questions. Uh, what are the lessons learned from the history? So if I start from that, I wish to take this as a good place for me to start my presence. I, I I normally take this particular location because there are a lot for us to uh, learn. I mean, not as an engineer, not as a, a, a scientist. But even uh, 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 who's going to study about the sociology or even uh, any, any other uh, uh, the, the, the profession, uh, profession who's going to study something on their own profession, I think this is a very good example for you to study, uh, for you to think about the technology and technology transfer and you know how to develop something. So uh, you may wonder what I'm going to talk uh, with the uh, 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 burial site. I mean, this is this is uh, in Singhala Visa Sohana. Yes, this is a uh, this is an old burial location. So uh, and when I say old, this uh, the history goes back to 2,700 years ago. So you can you can just compare. You can just uh, match your and uh, uh, the known history with uh, this location. Uh, Lord Buddha uh, and all these uh, big big people have. Uh, uh, I mean, this location, the history goes beyond their, their era as well. So this is a very old uh, location, uh, uh, which was found in Sri Lanka, not in another country. This was found in Sri Lanka. So uh, this, uh, as I said, this is a burial site. Uh, you, may, you may wonder, are we, are we, uh, uh, I mean, this is the right, right time to talk about a burial location because, I mean, we all at a... Uh, we all at a risk uh, due to uh, due to COVID, uh, and you know everybody uh, the life is at a risk. Uh, nobody knows when are we going to leave. That is not the reason for me to pick this particular uh, particular example. That we I have a lot of other reason for me to uh, select this particular location. Before I talk about the location, let me give you a, a, a located location identification uh, where uh, this particular place is. Ibangkatua is between uh, Kurunagala and. Uh, Dabul, I mean, those who are, I'm very sure you have, uh, you have visited Polunaro, you have visit, uh, visited Dabul, you have visited Segeria, but only few may have visited this Ibang Katua uh, burial uh, location. It is in, uh, it is, as I said, it's in the main road uh, from Kurunagar to uh, Dabul. It's in, uh, it's on the main road, actually, when you're, when you're, when you're passing uh, uh, the Kurunagar and uh, driving towards uh, Dabul, 
near to dambulla you will see a big uh, big uh, uh, board uh, into your uh, right hand side saying ibban kadu burial uh, burial site so it's a, a, a very very historic uh, location I, i'm very sure many of you have this miss this particular location because uh, there's no such big uh, big uh, i mean archaeological value given uh, to this location but for me whenever i passed uh, 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 this area going to uh, let's say uh, uh, maybe finko maybe polonnaru maybe uh, ampara dambulla uh, uh kaudulla mineria wasgamua so all these locations uh, we we pass this place but i always used to stop there and spend few minutes because this is this has a lot of things for us to learn so i'm i'm boosting more and more for uh, for you to i mean to create the the interest among you for you to also go and uh, uh, experience uh, the feeling i'm having about this particular location right that is about the location now i will uh, tell you the value of this thing uh value of this location for you to become creative and for you to become a, a, a technologically sound person right starting from uh, uh uh the history so i said this is 2700 years ago and uh, when a person died in that particular era what they did was they take the uh, the dead body and they uh, they burn it they they converted the body to ash and they collected the ash put the ash into this center uh, you can see a big uh, pot at the center top center so uh, they put the ash uh, into the into the uh, uh, into the clay pot and the clay pot was placed between four stone plaques as you can see your uh, in your left hand side image so uh, there you have tier four uh, stone uh, the plaques and you keep uh, this uh, pot there you can see uh, one more one you can see uh, at your left hand side it's a, a family burial location you can see more than one uh, pot is there so they keep the pot and they cover the pot with another uh, stone uh, plaque so a stone slab so that is how they created this particular location and you may wonder what 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 you what you can learn from this particular location i mean uh, I, i'm boosting more and more but there's nothing new for you uh, uh, new for you to get uh, from this particular location let me uh, pitch up uh, what are the what are the importance of this particular location with respect to technology transfer and uh, creative starting with uh, creating this pot okay uh, before that now uh, if you check if you can just compare uh, uh, the respect given to this particular dead body right you compare that with uh, uh, what was happened uh, in india in let's say uh, the uh, we, we have fancy paras jataka so all these jataka katha you uh, if someone dies they 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 cover the body with uh, old cloth and just throw that to the jungle where the, the the animals and ate the body so that was india but in sri lanka they knew how to respect the dead body uh, you just compare that with today i mean always uh, we we say okay that is uh, the history you uh, there's nothing uh, nothing much for us to learn from the history but if you can compare that incident with what is happening today you can see many people die on the road due to let's say sometimes uh, uh, due to a uh, due to a uh, due to accident many people i have seen they take the uh, uh, the mobile phone they go for live streaming by while letting the other uh, person to die on the road no humanity no support given so what they need is the video video recording video footage in their mobile phone and sometimes people are cut into pieces on the road we don't care we don't bother because we are no longer uh, with that particular uh, uh or the feeling of humanity but these people i mean they knew how to respect even their body so that should be the starting point if you want to create something if you want to create the technology if you want to transfer the technology that is the first lesson you should learn maybe from the history or maybe from your wherever you need to have that particular sensitivity in your uh, in your mind uh the next one the next one is a creativity right look at the the pot at the center now a pot at this nature at uh, uh, let's say 2 feet uh, 2.5 feet uh, high uh, with this symmetric uh, symmetricity with a small thickness 10 to uh, 10 mm to 15 mm you can't do that without the sakapuru centrifugal force so with the sakapuru only you can you can make this particular pot that is number uh number one about the creativity 
selecting the correct material you know that uh, we are good at mud slugging but those who have played with mud you know that you can't get every clay every mud to create a plot so they need they need to understand that particular uh, phenomenon and they need to correct the correct clay so that again they got the knowledge they got the technology from the nature so the nature teaches us or nature transfers that particular technology to the human and human got to know all the clays cannot be used uh, for clay the, the pot preparation only selected clays is possible so that is one lesson from the history from the uh, the nature from the environment which was transferred to the human that is that is number one the number two they knew by burning or by increasing the temperature they can change the properties of the clay that is they have they haven't uh, gone to a university they haven't gone to a school they haven't read any book uh, about uh, the technology and the science but they knew this from the nature maybe there was a uh, 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 the, the forest fire or a tree fire uh, some some some, some uh, natural burning uh, in the jungle and they found the the clay there is different than uh, the clay in another place so they found by changing the temperature they can change the property by changing the property they can uh, they can keep the keep the material uh, for many years. I, I'm very sure they didn't want to keep that particular material for 2,700 years. But still, even today, you can get the same clay pot in the same way just because they got the knowledge from the nature. Nature transferred the knowledge to the human because they, they started learning. They started experiencing the nature. And by experience, they managed to get the knowledge uh, from, the, from the nature. So nature is always willing to transfer the knowledge to you but only thing is you are not vigilant enough you are not open enough to get that particular knowledge from the nature so that is the message i wanted to give you so like that there are there are a lot of stuff we can uh, talk about this particular only about this particular location so uh keeping a lot of questions in you and keeping a, a, a chance for you to go there personally and uh, observing and uh, experiencing this uh, this this location i will move to another another slide i mean from the again from the history there are a lot for you to understand about all the technologies this is my profession the construction i mean they they started learning the the nature they started experiencing the, uh, the, the nature and nature transferred the knowledge to uh, the human. So we are today talking about transferring the technology from human to human. But initially, the knowledge was transferred from the nature, from the atmosphere, from the environment to the human. Then only the civilization existed for many, many years back. So they, uh, the, 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 these people, they studied the, the natural contours, the natural materials, natural uh, natural ventilation so they, they they studied all natural 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 and finally they become a near natural human which is which which they had the luxury of having a uh, having a fruitful uh, life they spend the life and they left the, the the world with doing a minimum harm to the nature minimum harm to the uh, the world but today the people who are living today very unfortunate to say until they are at the last minute, at the last uh, second, at the ICU or let's say at the hospital, they never realize they are a, they are a, they are a human who who are who going to die one day, right? They all think that they are going to stay forever. But these people, they knew one interesting fact: that technology, that knowledge was transferred from the the nature because they 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 were listening to the nature, and from that they 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 had a happy life and they uh, did the minimum harm and they left the world with uh, with minimum or zero harm to the environment and the nature so uh, from the construction to the agriculture food and agriculture we are trying to be a sustainable and uh, uh, self sustain uh, uh, economy and uh, uh, all these uh, foolish politicians whoever from what, any party they they are trying to prove that we can't be sustainable and sus uh, self sustain but we have a lot of proofs from the history to show that we had a technology and that technology is much better than the technology today and we today depend on uh, 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 another country or another, another 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 big company that is all because of money because we all try to value uh, our life with respect to money because of that we lost all these technologies which we had in the past i'm not going to talk about the the technology in the past i mean that definitely should change but we should have to have a sense of what we had one can say okay why i mean there, there will be about 100 200 people living in these amradipur area 
they went to the jungle they picked something then they ate and they uh, uh, they they spend their life i mean i'm not going to believe that it, uh, the the slide i've showed you before don't ever believe that those were done by 100 200 odd numbers of people i'm sure there were millions of people they lived happily they had that particular very interesting uh, technology the sense uh, from the the nature they knew that they are going to die so they they they, they did the minimum harm to the nature but uh, and they got the maximum productivity crop from the, uh, uh, that particular uh, thing and they were uh, spending happily and they are self sustained from the uh, the food to the uh, the medicine i mean we had our own uh, a medical setup unfortunately those are not there thanks to uh, the, the western medicine and also thanks to our own uh, uh, people cunning people who try to describe uh, the, these great uh, uh, great things which again transferred from the nature again transferred from the nature because they were studying the nature to the maximum and the nature transferred the technology to the people so those are the things which you need to understand uh, from the history because history learns or teach us a lot of things and the, the the nature is i mean the one very big uh, lesson we had to understand is nature is ready, ready to transfer the knowledge and that was uh, in the history the nature transferred the knowledge to you and we were about to uh, absorb that particular uh, knowledge transfer from the from the nature but unfortunately with the knowledge with the education we try to avoid or rather uh, chase away these uh, uh, the lessons and the technology transferred by the the uh, the nature and finally uh, we 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 have become uh, 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 automated people uh, uh, from the human so there was an interesting uh, uh, stuff saying uh, uh, in 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 the facebook again i mean and i i used to use that particular cartoon in my when many of my presentation i mean please go back to your human mood from the auto mode so this is where for us to think about that again and again because without that you can't think of doing a very i mean you can't think of doing a sustainable or a uh humanist uh technology transfer to the next generation so that is something you have to understand so that those are the lessons from uh, the history the next section is what we need to develop and to whom you need to develop so just because you have the knowledge just because you know something don't try to develop something and uh, impose that forcefully let's say i mean we are good at uh, uh, create i mean we are good at creating stuff i mean we are creative but sri lankans are, they are very much creative we respective of their gender uh, the ethnic uh, i mean whatever we are very creative so that uh, no 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 other uh, country can uh, be creative as ours because we are very much creative but unfortunately we create uh, things and the, the created stuff are not in the priority list of the community we are we are, we are targeting so we we, we 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 get the idea in the dream and we do the we do marvelous innovations marvelous inventions but those are not transferred to the community because community is not ready to accept it because they have a lot of other issues a lot of other things and uh, these these inventions will be die then and they are without going into the market so you need to understand to whom you are going to serve and what are their priorities let me show you some uh, some examples when i was a kid i still can remember my my mother i mean i used to play uh, uh, after school with the same dress uh, from the school so uh, 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 until my mother comes and uh, pull me uh, 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 to uh, to inside uh, i i was playing with my friends that is my uh, childhood but if you think about uh, the people who live today they are very much attracted to uh, the mobile phone maybe uh, or tab electronic devices smart smart, de uh, smart devices and the mother has to pull them out to see the uh, the nature so if you are trying to develop something knowing okay my child who is a bit time so i'm going to uh, convert all the children who are living today to my childhood it is not going to happen because you the, the the world you are living today is much more different than what you experience as a, uh, as a kid maybe you think okay we had the best life not the not the kids today but just knowing that if you try to convert if you try to develop a technology to suit uh, uh, to to i mean uh, from by taking from your from your childhood and try to forcefully given that to the the kids today and the parents today that is not going to be a attractive solution because today's world is completely different to what you have experienced in your past let me show you another example when we uh, uh, we, we when we were students 
we love to uh, fly kites. I mean, this is the best time uh, for you to fly kites. Uh, the Yalakanne is over. We are we are about to start the Mahakanne. So all the paddy fields are uh, uh, almost flat now. So you can easily uh, 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 you know make a kite and fly the kite. But I mean, uh, uh, un unless you go to very rural spaces, uh, now you can't see uh, kites. Uh, you can see kites. Uh, again, uh, uh, imported from China or some other country, but making a kite will give you a lot of, uh, lot of, uh, a lot of experience, a lot of uh, technology uh, learning but through that particular process. You get the correct material, you 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 bind them together uh, to, uh, to to make the symmetricity. You pass them, uh, keeping the symmetricity, and even once you make it, flying the kite to the sky is a, a, a terrible uh, game. I mean, many times you will uh, in Singhala we say Kuriya Gahana. So uh, flying a kite uh, into the sky is a really, really troublesome work. But but uh, you after many iterations, you will start flying a kite in the sky. But today you have a drone, ready-made drone from another country, and that drone has a lot of ad ad added features. You don't have to worry too much. You can easily by using uh, two joysticks, you can take that up. And in addition, you will get a, 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 a camera mounted. And you can get the bird eye view. You, you it's like you are you are you are, you, are, you are flying, right? You are flying. You can see the the button now. So there are a lot of additional features than a kite, but you will miss the lessons which can be used uh, 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 for your future activities, uh, uh, which you, I mean you you could easily learn from the from making a kite. So from that today the world has changed a lot. Let me tell you another good example. Our parents, they never went to a, went to a jogging track. They never went to a, a gym uh, to do, uh, do, do exercises. But today, the world is changed. You can't ask modern day uh, parents to go and uh, uh, work in the farms. That is not going to work. But you need to, if you want to cater uh, the modern, uh, uh, modern day parents, you definitely try to find some, some innovative idea uh, for the gymnasium, some innovative idea for the jogging tracks. So, but uh, the thing is, you may wonder, okay, you may wonder, you know, what, what's really happening to the world because the world is going to terribly out, uh, out of the way, out of the control, but still you have to adapt it. You have to, you have to be, you have to adapt with the, 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 the things, the changes happening in the world. Then only you can become a creative person and you can think of developing a technology and transfer the technology back to the community. That's the, I mean, I'll be able to talk about millions and millions of examples from the history comparing my childhood and uh, today where I'm living here. Uh, so there are, there, they all, uh, uh, I mean, the stuff for you to, uh, be, for you to think again, are you at the right place? Are you doing the right thing? Are you, are we, are we learning the right thing? Are we doing the right thing? Right are we thing, at the right place? Right. So again, once again, I'm, I'm kind of requesting you to uh, keep your mics uh, off. Thank you. So, uh, uh, that is what I'm, uh, I'm telling. There are a lot of things you can learn. So at the same time, when I was presenting all these things, uh, I mean, uh, one thing you have to understand is you have to understand to whom you are going to develop the stuff. Just because you know everything, just because you believe something, don't try to impose that uh, in, as, as it is to the to the community because you have to. They will not accept your uh, 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 the development because. Uh, their, their priorities, the, the, way, the, the way they think may be completely different to what you think. So only thing you have to understand from here is if you are to develop some technology, if you are to develop something uh, which you, you targeting, commercializing, targeting, uh, you know, transferring, you need to study the community you are going to serve. So that is to whom you are going to develop. So to whom you are going to develop is a very, very material question for you to solve before you start doing any invention, any, any developing, any, yeah, any technology. So uh, from that, uh, let me uh, take you back to uh, the modern world and uh, the modern science for you to understand, is there anything for us to develop? Because the world is, world is I mean, has gone in miles away now. Uh, and uh, we are at a far away uh, location with everything I believe. Let me start uh, uh, counter, counter attacking uh, the same slide just, uh, Stated from the history, from the technology, you can see your mobile phone. It will do everything. Will give everything under the sun, because we are in the technological era. We are in the digitalized era. Where everything will be there in the in in, in the smartphone engineer, doctor, architect. So think think of any profession. 
they will be there in the smartphone so uh, because you find hi here hi. i see amar singh is on this is please uh, mute oh, your mic can uh, we can we can now uh, hear uh, what you say na ya nahane inna kele nahane ho right okay uh, oh, right doesn't okay. matter let's uh, okay right uh, so uh, uh, we were talking about the uh, the technology i mean uh, the technically we are we are at a, we are at a, uh, very uh, very uh, very very high pitch now uh, if someone has uh, her number please uh, call her and say uh, ask her to mute her mic otherwise all what the, uh, she is talking will be heard by uh, uh um, the full audience here uh, at yeah. the webinar mm-hmm. uh, so we have 110 all 110 will be able to hear yeah. what she is talking uh, uh, being being at home right so please uh, please mute your mics i'm again kind of requesting you to mute your mics right okay uh, uh, so i was talking about the technology and uh, uh, what are the technologies mm-hmm. available uh, in the world today the technology is available in the world today so from that uh, we will if i go to the agriculture i mean it's amazing as a as a uh, as a uh, as a as a kid uh, i still can remember i never learned uh, planting a uh, uh, planting a tree without soil maybe balutas uh, or maybe olu nelum manel they are all uh, uh, water plants yes we planted them uh, without soil even uh, to plant something we need to have a clay pot uh fill with uh, the clay and uh, then only be planted these things in in water but today many agricultural activities are without soil so it is all high uh, the water base it's it's hydrophonic you had a little bit of a uh, uh, little fish there we call aquaponic so everything is now modernized the world has changed let me show you another big example well we have 7.8 billion population in the world i mean i don't know how much have surviving after covid but still i believe 7.8 billion people uh, uh, live in the world so uh, 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 so uh, uh, to serve this 7.8 billion uh, you need to have more food uh, so the scientists they were really genius they changed the genes of uh, uh, the creatures maybe food uh, maybe uh, agri- uh, the vegetable vegetables fruits uh, and uh, they have gone into the live uh, uh live uh, food as well so they have changed the genes of uh, this creature not no more uh, bull it's a meat bull now so that's what the science so that's what the technology so they have transferred they have developed and they have transferred the technology let me show you another example uh yes you have seen uh, two types of fox in your life uh, uh one uh, Well, both have uh, two uh, two legs uh, one is with le- with uh, feathers the other one is without the feathers you may wonder what i'm talking well uh, uh, the one is a real cock with uh, with feathers and uh, wings the other other one is a, 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 a cock uh, uh, but uh, uh, with hands so those uh, the second type of cocks you may have seen in uh, in uh, bus stands uh, buses uh, uh, public places those cocks but this i'm i'm referring uh, 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 the first type of cock with uh, who have feathers uh, when i was a kid uh, uh, i can i still can remember this broiler chicken industry it was 48 days 48 days this size of a egg to 2 and 1/2 kilos of 5 pounds of uh, a meat bowl that take 48 days and uh, that's a conversion but today uh, today please understand i mean you will not believe uh the the broiler chicken industry from this size of a egg to a 2.5 kilos of a meat bowl that will take only 16 days that creature can't even think of dying it will be killed and sent to your table so the world is that much advanced the technology is that much advanced so you can't even think of inventing something new because everything was invented at the moment even uh, even the medicine you you think of a disease today to tomorrow you will get the drug as well sometimes uh, i mean you 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 take covid uh, we were re- all all were really uh, stuck in a location uh, at a situation in 2020 because we we realized there's no drug uh, for covid but today just go uh, i mean you you will see there are a lot of vaccines has come and we are uh, we we uh, we have to uh, pick uh, what we are going to uh, uh, you know get uh, uh, against covid so the world Uh, is that much advanced with technology and sometimes uh, countries like sri lanka you get the drug then they will realize the disease is not there in the country the next plane 
you will get the disease as well. So technology wise, there's nothing new for you to develop. Well, I'll not be able to stop talking about the technology which is existing today without talking about the artificial intelligence. So the world is really, really advanced. I can, I can remember about artificial intelligence working with robots. Those are all in uh, dreams, all in dramas, all in uh, uh, films. But today, you won't believe we are living in an era where the robots got the citizenship. This is Sophia. I don't want how to, I don't know I don't know how to call her. She's a robot. She got the citizenship in 2018, as far as I can remember, from Saudi Arabia. So we are living in an era where the robots also got the citizenship. And look at her face. I mean, first facial expressions. I mean, she uh, she is good at uh, expressing her feelings through her face much better than a human. So. So she's not really imitating, she's doing much better than a human who lives today. Our people, they're too much attack, uh, attracted to technology, too much with the technology, and they miss the human factor. But the robots are learning uh, the, the human, and they are doing much better than human. So this robot is a very good example. I'm very sure in Sri Lanka, we don't have working robots as human, but be careful when you are traveling overseas next time, because the next person who are sitting, or the, the person who's uh, who's, uh, who's sitting next to you can be a robot hereafter, because we are living in a world where the robots are replacing the human. So that was the digital era. We just passed uh, in, the, in the industry revolution. So everywhere you have the artificial intelligence. So the technology is that much advanced and you may realize that there's nothing for you to develop new. Okay, let me uh, let me take you to Japan now. Uh, this is uh, uh, Mr. Abe. Uh, uh, I, I really proudly uh, uh, calling him as Mr. because he's a real Mr. Uh, he was the former, former, uh, uh, the Prime Minister of Japan recently also one Prime Minister stepped down and this guy stepped down uh, before him. And uh, uh, I, I was lucky to hear a, a keynote delivered by uh, Abe uh, in 20, uh, 2017 or 2018. Uh, that is science and technology uh, a conference held in uh, Japan. I, I, was, uh, I was selected, I was chosen uh, by uh, National Science Foundation to attend that particular conference. And he was a keynote. I was so proud, so happy to attend that particular conference and to hear uh, this great gentleman uh, in 2018. So uh, he was talking one and a half hours uh, at the conference and he was talking about one big technology he has developed uh, in Japan. He was talking about this tractor. You may wonder, I mean, what the hell? This, this, is, this is very simple. I mean, what, what new for him to talk to in a world conference about science and technology uh, by, by picking a tractor? That is what you you, you will uh, you will uh, you will think uh, one, once I show this particular slide. But he was talking two and a half hours of uh, yeah, in that particular uh, the world summit about this tractor, about the technology uh, inside the tractor, about the artificial intelligence in the tractor. This tractor or rather two tractors can do the farming by keeping one inch distance between two tractors and communicating each other. Isn't that something for him to boost? Uh, in a world conference, uh, world, uh, world uh, summit uh, on science and technology. Yes, it is. I mean, he was talking and everybody was silent and, one, and they were all wondering, okay, what sort of technology Japan has that Japan developed. So they have developed a technology, a tractor, which can communicate each other while keeping one inch. Just imagine you keep two farmers one meter away, give all the instruments and let them to farm, make sure you 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 uh, you uh, you call you you make sure you you arrange two ambulance for them to uh, for for to take them uh, to the hospital because people can't do that sort of an activity in the real world or the machine can do because they can they can do the they can do uh, they can they can communicate they can they can interact their ideas they can interact their activities so that is what he was talking so just imagine do we have anything to develop in this particular world because everything was developed everything was happened and we are in the in the best time in the history and there's nothing new for us to develop so you may wonder what what i mean if you don't have anything to develop what to transfer 
Well, that was the same thing in my mind in 2018 after finishing his uh, uh, presentation speech. I went to sleep with that particular mentality. Wow, wow, wow. There were a lot of wow factors. Well, the next day from Tokyo to uh, the, uh, the airport, I had to take a, uh, take a train. And uh, in, uh, in my compartment, uh, I, was I was traveling with another family. So uh, still I was dreaming uh, uh, what he was talking, uh, this Abhi was talking about this artificial internet that was so advanced. I was really amazed. I mean, to tell you that that, that has a lot of wow factors. So I was traveling, I was, I entered to the, uh, 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 the train now uh, with that dream. And I was about to uh, leave Japan to come to Sri Lanka. And I met interesting uh, family in my uh, uh, compartment. So don't don't misunderstand me uh, i didn't take that particular photo just because of this beautiful lady uh, uh staying there he's with uh, she's with uh, her husband and the kid uh, there was a reason for me to take this particular image the the previous day uh, abhi was talking about a uh, 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 tractor artificial intelligence i was amazed and i was always thinking about that particular thing and i was dreaming about the thing and suddenly i got to uh, got to see this uh, this family let me show you why i took this particular image uh, the, uh, I, I was I was with them for one hour, one hour and ten minutes, uh, uh, traveling from Tokyo uh, to their uh, to, to their airport. Throughout these one hour and ten minutes, the mother she was with the phone, and uh, you know she was really busy with the phone. The father, one hand he hold the phone, the other hand he he hold the pram. Most interestingly, the kid he was looking the the, the backside of the the two phones, and he was not make a single home noise he completely he uh, he was silent throughout the, the journey one hour and ten minutes and that's a family in japan the previous day abe was talking about two tactors keeping one inch distance communicating each other this family well they're touching each other and not a single word for one hour and ten minutes if you think this is the technology this is what we need, I'm sorry to say, I don't want to see this technology crossing the Indian Ocean and coming or rather entering to this beautiful country, Sri Lanka, because, because we have much more advanced, much more developed than all these developing countries, developed countries. But unfortunately, we don't know how to value our values as a country. So this is one uh, big issue uh, I found uh, in my life and uh, which we change a uh, lot of things with respect to myself and this is just to share show that tell you that there are a lot for you to invent there are a lot for you to develop and there are a lot for you to transfer to the communities don't worry there are a lot for you to do with respect to the uh, the, the world with respect to the uh, the human 7.8 billion population in the world there are a lot for you to develop don't worry, even though there are a lot of things developed, still there's a vacuum for you to touch and for you to easily can go and touch. That is one side of the story. This is the other big side of the, uh, the story there. I mean, we are, we are heading for a, a real disaster with respect to climate change and uh, the world is, uh, world is dying every day and people started using masks, not, uh, not because of COVID, I mean, even before COVID, uh, people started uh, using masks uh, in, in China, in, in, in India. So that is nothing new. Let me show you another interesting uh, image for you to think uh, uh, think once again uh, about these uh, these developments. Well, uh, this image uh, this is uh, this is one image uh, uh, from China. So uh, this is uh, this is before the the lockdown uh, of China. After fourteen days of lockdown, same location, same location, you can see the difference. So uh, throughout the history. Uh, your right hand side shows with the technological development what we have done to the world and uh, the left hand side that shows for 14 days what the nature does to the world and how the nature bring the, uh, the, the old world back within 14 days. There are a lot for you to understand because there are a lot for you to develop uh, to, uh, to cater the world. So don't worry. To answer that particular, what you need to develop, there are a lot. To whom you need to develop, again, there are millions and billions of people the, as human, and the nature is waiting for you to come up with some innovative idea to save the nature. So there are a lot for you to do. 
Well, in addition, there are the, there are a lot of challenges for the future. We need more energy. We need to develop more uh, more energy, more food, more water. So there are all challenges, and there are a lot for you to invent. There are a lot for you to transfer back to the human, back to the nature. So. Uh, I'm very sure you know about this particular card. You may wonder why I am showing a card now. You may wonder I made a mistake by showing, uh, uh, clicking a wrong slide. No, I, I'm showing with a reason. Please, uh, I'll keep my mouth shut. You can, uh, you can see this. Uh, uh, you can watch this video, uh, the cartoon. But that will give you a big, uh, long story. Can you uh, can you remember this card? You may uh, you, you may say shit. I mean, I have uh, I have wrong uh, I have uh, uh, click a wrong uh, wrong button wrong uh, wrong uh, wrong slide. No, I I, I click that with uh, with the reason. I was talking about invention. I was talking about uh, uh, technology uh, to develop. This cartoon tells you millions of lessons. Uh, if you can remember the ro this Roadrunner cartoon. Let me let me uh, bring the uh, bring our old history uh, back to the screen. This roadrunner cartoon. You have this roadrunner, this uh, let's say uh, uh, cock and a fox. So that is uh, the, the whole cartoon is between this uh, these two characters. Uh, the the, the roadrunner is a fast running uh, uh, animal, and uh, it runs really fast. Fox never be able to chase him and uh, catch the guy. So what uh, fox does is that he come up with lot of inventions. He do. I mean, even in the, the in that particular video, he created stuff, and uh, he uh, he created stuff uh, uh, targeting uh, uh, catching the uh, the road runner. But unfortunately, how much he tried, he never be able to catch the uh, catch the road runner because uh, uh, because all these inventions were immaterial uh, when it comes to uh, 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 the real practical scenario. So we we also have a lot of. Uh, Lot of uh, 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 the fox uh, within the within the education system uh, within the university system. Sorry to say that because we have we are creating a lot of stuff, but unfortunately that will never be able to capture what uh, what the what the what the uh, what the uh, uh, what the industry what the what the what the community wants. So that is where we all trapped. So uh, I said uh, we have a lot of folks. I mean, we develop stuff. We we create. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, create uh, invention by just you know adding 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 stuff. But unfortunately, those are not going to the uh, not going to the uh, the community. So uh, that is the tricky point in uh, in inventions. You can you can uh, invent stuff. You can you can be a uh, you can be a you can be a uh, real uh, big inventor. But unless until you transfer the technology. To the community, you can be, you can't be a wonderful inventor, innovator. So invention to innovation, there's a big story to play. Invention, that is what the fox is doing. There are a lot of inventors in the country, but innovators are very missing. Inventors are like fox. Fox, I mean, if I bring the fox story again, fox is making a lot of inventions, but he never be able to achieve what he wanted to achieve uh, uh, through those inventions. The, the his objective is to catch the uh, the road runner, but he never uh, achieved that. So they they he invent, but that will never materialize. So we have a lot of fox in the uh, in the country. They they get together.
they 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 create something they get the patent and the patent is finally again lying in a in a in a cupboard you lockable cupboard so that is not going to help to the development of the country so it is not about the size not about the creativity not about the technology inside your invention it is about the technology transfer you can do a small uh, change and you can become a innovator not an inventor you can become a innovator without you transferring to an innovator that doesn't have any bearing over a country development so that is another one big problem we have as a country so we we develop a lot of stuff but unfortunately those lot of stuff will not be transferred uh, to the community and as a country that invention is again itself a loss to the country we spend millions and millions of uh, rupees for university uh, research and development and these people go and take the patents and the patents are lying i mean i know uh, 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 you are trying i mean if you are trying yes i can believe you but there are people who get the patent and they say that see i mean i have patents but they never want to transfer the technology not even they want to try and they say yes i got together I, uh, maybe they are they are part of a uh, they, they are they are a small cell uh, in a big research team till they claim okay i invented this stuff but that invention is just as a patent lying on a desk so that doesn't have any bearing over and they are really, really doing a real injustice they are they are they are doing a real damage to the education system and to the development of the country than a person who is not doing any research because these people have spent millions and millions uh, for their research they get the patent and they hold the patent without transferring the technology so those people are doing a real big damage to the to the country to the development of the country so that's a big story so one day this is what uh, we learned from the uh, 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 the uh, the road runner carton but recently i found accidentally the road runner was put by the fox this is the read uh, uh, the new version of road runner carton that's it that was the end of the road runner so we never learned uh, uh, the fox catching the road runner but i recently found in the internet uh, in the in youtube the road runner was accidentally killed by a mistake done by uh, the fox it's not uh, uh, not uh, a planned uh, kill, uh, 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 you know killing it's a it's a mistake and, and then finally uh, he killed those people are also exist in country they plan something and ended up with something else they 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 trying to uh, create a, a swim uh, but finally they ended up with you know uh, doing some some other thing so like that there are people who who trying something and ended up with something else they are also not proper innovators they may be inventing but they are not proper innovators so that is something i want to tell you about uh, uh, or teach you about invention innovation because this there's a big confusion uh, in the country about this invention and innovation one big uh, place is uh, the ministry of technology and innovation uh, technology and innovation that is the english uh, term but uh, when it converted uh, translated to uh, singhala it says tatchana sa nava nipam mama atyan so i was i was talking for days and months asking them to uh, change the word english they call innovation singhala they say invention so we are living in a country where these uh, top uh, top politicians they can't even understand the difference between invention and innovation without them understanding the difference between in, uh, invention and innovation they can't ever think of even dream of converting innovation to invention to innovation because they they are full of political agendas not to uh, uh, it is not to convert invention to innovation if they really want i kindly request anybody who has any close contacts with the uh, the political people please try to change the the ministry name try to have the same uh, meaning in english and singhala english they they say innovation singhala say namanipa namanimayum namanipayum that is invention those are two different meanings so that need to be cleared before we go into technology development and technology transfer well talking about innovation and invention actually there are a lot of uh, uh, things for you to understand like management i'll not be able to go and comment here comment teach you on management it's a born talent i'll not be able to teach you uh, invention because it's again a born talent i i mean if pandit amaradeva exists in the in the world you can't uh, if you don't have the uh, the, the singing talent 
you can't ask pandit tamradev i mean he, he he can be the world best singer but still he will not be able to teach you singing if you don't have the born talent like that the invention uh, the creativity uh, 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 that, uh, that aspect is a born talent you can't you can't plant them by teaching so uh, but uh, these uh, these factors will really really uh, help you to uh, understand this and brush up your the born talents and you can become a good creator good inventor down the line so there are a lot of uh, 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 stages or dis- different levels of invention and innovation but we have we started with incremental uh, invention and innovation it's like you know you have you have a you have a known technology that was a uh, invention and you do a, a incremental small uh, uh, changes and you uh, you 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 uh, you serve the same same market same community uh, sustaining or architectural uh, innovation you have uh, you have a, a invention and you you change the form of the invention to serve the same community to serve the same community same set of customers but you you change the form of the the invention and we call those are architectural innovation and invention then you go for the radical inventions radical inventions you have the technology you you go for a, a radical change in the technology say the phone is there and you uh, you you radically change the the old phone to a smartphone and Uh, that serve the same set of customers same set of buyers but it's a radical drift from what existing then you have this uh, uh disruption uh, innovation and invention that's i mean you com- you create a completely new invention for a new market so like that you have different different stages those are not uh, you know a very hard and fast rule uh, fast demarcations uh, among them but uh, there are there are definitions such i just want to uh, tell you these uh, definitions only but don't uh, don't try to stick to them whatever you do that can be a invention if it is not available in the world so uh, before you do any invention or innovation we can discuss them at uh, q and a as well make sure you you go and check whether that particular technology is available whether it is incremental architectural radical or disruptive before you start anything make sure you go and do a prior search to see whether that particular technology is existing if it is existing please leave aside you go for another thing so that is how you need to do a invention so i we will be able to discuss them uh, uh, further uh, in the future so moving to uh, 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 the the right hand side image i mean i, I just want to show you uh, the opportunities you have actually we started with the the, uh, the industry 1.0 revolution from water and steam and we just passed the digital era where that is 2.0 now we are moving to uh this uh, 5.0 industry level where the human has another role new role to play in this particular new era so that is the best opportunity as a country we are going to get because we have another opportunity to do showcase the human factor in this digital era so the machines are there you need to talk but you need to build, build the, uh, the the human into that so we were talking about invention and innovation especially targeting the money but now we are targeting the community we are moving to from the uh, technical innovation to we are going moving to the the social innovations now and we are bringing the community back to the industry and we are talking about more than we talked about big giants we are talking about decentralizing all these technologies and working with big data and the data and the knowledge is no longer uh, stuck at one particular location it is free and uh, Uh, easily accessible with the digital uh, uh, transformation which was happened in the previous digital era now you have all the information even within a small phone what you need is to find a way of processing the information that is what we talked about this big data and opinion mining so the world is changing and we have a bigger junk there for us to play in this new era if that fails i'm not sure whether we we can ever think of being developed in the future so this is a, a best time for you to think about yourself to see what you are going to do right uh about uh, the the last topic uh, how to uh, how to not the last i mean uh, one before the last uh, about uh, the the few questions i have stated uh, how to protect your uh, intellectual i mean there are a lot of ways of uh, protecting starting from copyrights if, if you write a poem if you write a, a book you can get a copyright for that if you make a small design you can get a, a okay well, you can get a trademark uh, Uh, under your name uh, that is again the copyright and uh, if you don't want to share the uh, the technique you can keep it, keep it as a trade secrets there are a lot of brands uh, in the world i don't want to uh, 
put their names up here. There are a lot of brands in the world. They are still, they have not, uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, put the, the technology back. It is yeah. all secret. They can keep that as a uh, trade secret, but there's a, a bigger uh, danger because since you have not uh, uh, licensed your, you, since you have not uh, get the, uh, the intellectual property uh, right, if someone steal the, the the trade secret, you can't you can't say it is belongs to you anymore. So there's a there's a risk of uh, keeping a trade secret, but uh, if you really want to uh, uh, you know get the uh, get the uh, the protection. You can go to copyrights, you can get the patent, and you can go to the trademarks and the industrial designs. Actually, in Sri Lanka, all these things are there. We have the trademarks, we have the copyrights, uh, the poems, uh, the songs. I mean, uh, recently there was a uh, there was a big uh, uh, big uh, ha hu uh, with one single song which went to the international level with Johannes. Uh, 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 the, the song which went to the international market and then we were talking about uh, the copyright uh, and the legal aspects so finally i mean uh, the two owners uh, were uh, happily uh, shared the, the ownership so like that there are issues i mean always these intellectual property goes with uh, a legal binding so you have to you have to uh, you have to uh, very strictly uh, follow them you can get, get a patent for a product and a process and if it isn't design uh, the creative stuff you can go for the industrial design that is again possible with uh, uh, the intellectual property office in Sri Lanka and you can even uh, register a trademark let's say a logo or something you can you can you can get the trademark registration under uh, intellectual property office so those are the uh, uh, the available uh, uh, facilities for you to secure your intellectual property in Sri Lanka so once you secure you can think of transferring the technology there are two ways of uh, transferring the technology one is licensing other one is selling or assignment so uh, licensing uh, there's a nice uh, term giving permission again for a return so in licensing especially in uh, with respect to university uh, ips we always recommend you to uh, transfer the technology in, in in the form of licensing because uh, you can pull the rights of the patent and if you are to develop your patent further and further right then you need to hold the, uh, uh, the intellectual property right but you can transfer uh, the permission to someone else some company or some individual for them to go ahead with the production but still at any time you can you can take the uh, the license back so uh, you can you can even transfer the license to a uh, few individuals for in a few companies uh, for them to go ahead with their their production keeping the uh, intellectual right between within you or within your organization that is what many developed country uh, universities uh, 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 do uh, with respect to intellectual the intellectual property selling or assignment is completely giving away your your right you 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 have your intellectual property you transfer that to a, uh, another party so once you transfer you can't claim them saying okay that is belongs to you so that is the two different those are the two different uh, uh, terms uh, uh, with respect to uh, technology transfer available in the world. So either you can license it or you can sell the product, uh, uh, the patent, IP, intellectual property to another party. I think that is clear with you. So I think I'll not be able to uh, uh, finish my presentation without uh, talking about some practical examples which I was engaging. So uh, I was I was boosting, I was talking uh, uh, about the invention, innovation, and you may uh, take me as another fox if I, if I don't show what exactly I have done in my life uh, with some practical examples. Well, uh, 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 it's me actually. I mean, uh, I'm a uh, I'm little bit different to uh, the other people while they're really busy with their mobile phone. I was going behind the nature. So that is what I was doing. If I just a uh, little bit deliberate what I was doing, I was doing this. Don't don't ever say I, I was uh, I was giving a bath to a kid. Uh, I, I'm the kid you can see in the in the image. No, that is not what I want to show you. I, I, I always try to uh, find a natural pro uh, 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 the problem, uh, solve the problem in a natural way or near a natural way. Let me uh, show you it, uh, it in a little bit, uh, little, uh, little, little clear way with a small uh, video. This is what I was doing. So I have the natural uh, stuff and I put little sense uh, from my end and finally that become a nice uh, nice melody nice uh, nice song at the end of the day so i'm not a good singer but uh, this is exactly what i did by, did with my invention and innovation 
right uh, moving uh, forward uh, to uh, my invention actually my whole life started uh, or, or started changing with this westbobi rankumala i i was observing this uh, creature for many many days many months many years and uh, yeah, he was uh, he was bringing a uh, uh, clay uh, with a lot of uh, saliva and he he is making a, 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 a thin wall thin shell uh for for her uh, next generation and after the uh, that generation okay. leave the home the the uh, the tree uh, the house will again go back to the nature it's, it's again convert uh, uh to soil so i learn i i was following the uh, the creature so this creature has changed my whole uh, life i could say and not only that uh, uh the three houses uh, three techniques which i have showed at the bottom of the uh, the slide i mean those are the most comfortable houses in the world for me actually those are not the the seven star five star hotel if anybody have ever visited and spent a night in a house like this you will wonder the comfort inside a building uh, in this nature so those uh, changed my life not only this uh, later i was uh, i was studying lot of other uh, 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 other other uh, natural phenomena i mean uh, in, 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 as a, as a terminology we say biomimicry we imitate the nature so this bird you can see uh, it's, it's not like the westbobi he was uh, he was mixing uh, clay with uh, 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 some fiber and he uh, he is making a stronger uh, nest than the westbobi so those all these uh, things triggered me a uh, lot of new inventions down the line so i was studying uh, uh, from daul kurundu to uh, uh, fire uh, uh, i mean uh, natural natural resins to uh, uh, industrial way so i'm a, i'm a, i'm a more a person on circular economy than a linear economy so i always love to work with uh, waste materials and finally finally i mean not me as uh, my team whole team uh, uh, it was a day and night uh, job uh, for many years and finally uh, we managed to build up a lot of inventions and transfer managed to transfer uh, that knowledge of, uh, uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the people who spent on my education starting from the poor uh, in uh, who affected communities to uh, big buildings uh, in in, in colombo and uh, uh, urban spaces so you can uh, you can see uh, some of these uh, uh, creations uh, and uh, some of the technology transfer that i did in my life starting with my first patent that mud concrete block uh, and uh, this is not me actually it was a team so as a team we managed to develop all these in my team not uh, they are not all engineers they you can see we have uh, technology students we have architects we have civil engineers so we all get together and finally the final product was uh, uh, was ready to go to the market so that is how we started uh, developing them and uh, we started working as a team so the working as a team is very much important for you to become a uh, markerly or, or you know become a innovator than in, in than an inventor so uh, we didn't stop at that particular point uh, this uh, this is uh, a termite nest i mean that is again that is a best uh, uh, natural uh, structure with uh, uh, with uh, with that uh, passive uh, passive cooling technique so we studied or rather i studied uh, this uh, uh, the 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 termite nest uh, very closely and i wanted to develop a natural air conditioning system by imitating uh, 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 this is all about the, the building finishers and uh, i'm i'm very sure this is a very known place for you sigiria and uh, sigiria catapult power the mirror uh, mirror wall is a well famous world famous uh, uh, location and this catapult power was like you know let uh, let's say i'm the i'm the king kashyap uh, i i never be able to think uh, as king kashyap but let's say i'm, I'm walking uh, along this particular path you can, your your right hand side you you will get all these beautiful uh, uh, the paintings and he wanted to see the uh the mirror image of these paintings into his left hand side way as well so he created this particular wall and uh, it was very shiny and smooth and still today you can see the uh, the smooth uh, finish and uh, it still uh, giving the shine uh so he used natural material for this thing so i was imitating this and uh, finally managed to uh, uh this is a uh, water alum sludge is another waste uh, from water treatment and uh, we mix that with lot of uh, natural and artificial resins and finally uh, you won't believe we managed to get the same finish natural color never uh, uh, never change uh, the color will never uh, 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 become dull because this is the natural color no additives nothing so you can get the same finish same uh, same quality as Uh, what you can see is this catapult power or the mirror mirror wall so we managed to bring the same technology back to the world so that is about uh, the wall putting and we never stop at that particular point we created a uh, natural flooring 
with uh, with soil and this is uh, this is indoor uh, flooring and this is uh, for the external people i mean we, we were good at uh, making uh, paved areas jogging tracks these days if you want to be really uh, uh, really going with natural and uh, a sustainable material still you have another solution from our end uh, we have created the paving block with uh, with soil so whenever you want you can take this uh, uh, artificial materials out and you can create uh, stuff with uh, natural materials inside and outside both so all these materials all these things are never uh, come to the the world uh, without a team effort i mean we, we were working as a team uh, so all these things are uh, uh, they are in the market now and people are uh, i'm so happy and proud to say that all these things are used by uh, uh, the, by uh, the construction industry and uh, these are uh, i don't want to say those are low cost but those are very sustainable uh, material for you to go and try um, that's about the flooring and again uh, not only flooring and we are trying to uh, change the uh, the structural uh, forms now uh, you know uh, the structures are really costly because of the the presence of steel and uh, concrete so we are going to create uh, uh, structures without uh, with minimum cement and without reinforcement and there are a lot of uh, computer simulations uh, and finite element simulations and uh, finally uh, we managed to create uh, uh, slabs without reinforcement with uh, slightly modifying uh, or rather uh, creating curves uh, double curve triple, uh, triple curve uh, slabs uh, without reinforcement so those structures are now there and uh, uh, from uh, the structures to the building finishes once again it's a group activity let me show the uh, the team you can see it's not one single profession one single uh, knowledge area you can see a lot of uh, people got together and finally created all these uh, patents and uh, we created these technologies to the to, to sri lanka and to the world and uh, my my research was never uh, stick to one particular area i i always try to love, love to uh, uh, try out uh, different different area this uh, this was triggered me when i was uh, uh, traveling to uh, ratnapura for a, for a small project actually i i was happened to stop at uh, uh, sri saman devalaya just to see what is inside and i found uh, they were doing a renovation that was in 2019 uh, or 2018 early to the late 2018 so i was traveling and i found uh, this uh, this uh, uh, saman devalaya was uh, under a renovation i have just uh, put three good uh, examples from the history from uh, in parakram bahu uh, palace to saman devalaya just uh, for a reason because they all these three structures uh, the ambake devalaya and all these structures have used immensely used uh, timber so uh, i the, there was a fiction in my mind you know how this timber was lasting for more than 700 800 years uh, without uh, without any any issue because even with modern day uh, timber treatment techniques you can you, you know that we can't uh, we can't keep the timber for more than 10 15 years so uh, they they will they will deteriorate they will be attacked by termites and fungus so uh, that triggers uh, uh, me to go and study this ancient ancient technology so uh, uh, i was uh, i was looking for a person i was looking for a team uh, to uh, do a do a decoding of the history uh, on these things and uh, we went and uh, studied uh, about the tempi de bihares all ambalams and we started uh, studying about uh, 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 the material their the texture their knots their colors or in all internal stuff so we we were kept on studying and finally finally we managed to develop a natural uh, nano uh, treatment technique uh, using uh, leaves extract and that is much stronger much uh, much uh, much uh, my, my, uh, technically much sounder than all these modern day timber treatment techniques started from uh, decoding the history and uh, we were we were doing and we were completing all the uh, the field experiments and uh, those are much uh, resistant to fungus and uh, termites than uh, than uh, treated timber with modern uh, timber treatment techniques this was again uh, done with the team uh, started with my good friend raj actually i wanted to get a person who is with a archaeological background just to record the history and raj came and uh, we get uh, uh, the uh, the help from the, the slintech and uh, some technological people to develop the technology and uh, timber expert like expert like hiran uh, came into because i'm i'm not a timber expert so uh, we get uh, hiran into the picture and the, the most interesting the student is a designer she is not a uh, not a not a science uh, science graduate because she knows about uh, uh, the timber the need of the timber the properties of the timber so i picked her hand picked her to for the for this particular research and finally this particular mix 
you can see different different disciplines get together and finally created a beautiful uh, invention and rather innovation uh, to suit the modern day need of human so uh, jumping from that to uh, another uh, new uh, new technology new new uh, new area i i have stepped in uh, that is the, the coastal structures uh, uh, we have uh, we we cre i created another new uh, research team on these coastal structures again uh, on the circular economy we wanted to create uh, structures uh, to uh, restrain uh, these corals uh, uh, losing coral reefs in the country and uh, to have another livelihood uh, uh, below the uh, below the sea so this was started 2 years ago and we uh, we started uh, creating these structures in uh, a, a, a in the sea uh, near the sea shore and uh, today you won't believe uh, the we are going to get fantastic uh, results uh, with respect to what we started this is how we uh, we started planting uh, corals and uh, this is one structure we kept after 3 uh, 3 months we found uh, a fish inside and he uh, he or she doesn't wants to uh, leave the uh, the thing because they they, they are the, those structures are those shapes are very much uh, uh, very much uh, very much attractive by the uh, the natural uh, or, or natural uh, creatures who are living under the sea so this is where we started uh, uh, and today uh, uh, so uh, this is uh, this is what we uh, pay, uh, kept uh, in the sea and this was after two year two years actually yeah uh, uh, after 18 months uh, last week we went uh, for a field visit to see uh, how the structures are you can see it is fully covered with the uh, uh, the the greenery and not only that uh, at the bottom image you will see there are natural growing i mean we artificially uh, started planting the the corals but more than the artificial corals we planted they are also growing but more than that the, the bottom image shows there are there is a natural growth of uh, corals in these structures because these chemically developed uh, structures are very much close to the nature and we are we are in the in the line of uh, recreating the coral reefs we lost in the past so uh, this is my team we are working in a team uh, we have uh, we have uh, designers we have uh, 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 i mean the marine uh, people we have coastal ecologists uh, zoologists so we are working in a team at my small lab at my university and we we are developing all these structures uh, from that i mean uh, if you want to become a uh, the world class inventor you need to work in uh, work with other universities other countries uh, this is these are two uh, uh, projects i'm uh, i'm working uh, currently uh, uh, one one at uh, in uk and the other one is with seven countries so just to show you some examples for you to become if you want to become a successful inventor if you want to uh, uh, transfer the technology your technologies internationally to the world you need to work with other universities like you work with your own uh, university uh, uh, in clusters work with other universities other institutes similar to that try to work with other international partners then you can become an international recognized person or internationally you can transfer your technologies well uh, i mean uh, if you want to become a, a technologically sound uh, uh, strong character you need to understand your weaknesses you need to know where you are today so don't don't ever think that you know everything under the sun you you have certain things which you uh, wish uh, uh, certain talents on you so if you can easily capture your talent you can understand what are the talents you you are you are, you, you are out of then you can uh, you can link with the people who have that particular capability and the talents then you can form a team with everything so everything needed for that particular development 1 plus 1 is 2 uh, in mathematics but 1 plus 1 in human in uh, in people it is not really 2 you can be with millions if you really get the correct person at the, uh, the, the to the correct project so you need to understand where are you are now and what you are doing at the moment then only you can plan your life in the future i was explain uh, i introduced saying i was a very successful person yes uh, that is what you can see at the at the bottom but there are a lot of failures in my life uh, throughout my uh, small career uh, as a researcher uh, within this 11 uh, 11 years or, or the 10 years uh, of my career as a senior lecturer at university of morudu there were a lot of failures a lot of resistance uh, from different different people but always whenever i, I really love to see people challenging me because more the challenge i will be uh, strong and uh, uh, resistance uh, to these challenges so the failure is not not a real failure it's a full for statem in the life so that is what something i always plan, I, i always believe and i always uh, teach to my students uh, who are working with me 
So let me take one uh, one uh, another example from the the world. Uh, I was talking about my examples. This is a good example from uh, Japan, uh, Okinawa Beach. Uh, they found uh, they lost their coral reef in 2014, and 2014 they started planting corals. And today, you believe me, the bottom picture is uh, uh, taken in 2020. You will see it's a thick coral jungle. Uh, they started with planting small uh, coral pieces there. Now it's a thick, big uh, jungle. So if you do the right thing at the right place, with the right team, with the right attitude, you can easily become a winner one day. Thank you very much. Okay. With that, I can conclude my uh, presentation. Uh, thanks for uh, listening to me uh, for how many hours. It's, uh, I, I planned for one hour. It went uh, slightly over one hour. Uh, so uh, once again, thank you for listening and I will stop sharing the, the screen. So all of you can uh, switch on your mics, unmute your mics and anybody, you are, you are free to talk, free to ask any question uh, uh, from me and we can, I, I really want to make a, a more interactive sessions all, maybe max, majority will be academics. I mean, I don't want to see a silent audience from here onwards, over to you. Thank you, Professor Angika. We didn't feel the time even. So now this is the time for discussion. So hope that there will be more questions in this uh, forum. So uh, as he took us very long way, so we uh, now we can start asking questions and clarifications and uh, this is the time for you all. Uh, yes, uh, good morning, Professor Rangika. I'm Rohan here. Rohan, hi, Rohan. hi, Rohan. How are you? Yes. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Happy to see you in here. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, you, are the, you are the dean now, right? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, I am really uh, interest, uh, some, interested in some of your work. And then I, I have a little uh, question that uh, in that uh, what you have mentioned about Ibanka to a that uh, archaeological site. Uh, I think I just want to know that is, is it still preserved in the, as an archaeological site? Yes, yes, still there. Because uh, what I am asking, because uh, in the other side of the uh, uh, that uh, this particular site is separated a very famous uh, Rangarikamulu uh, stadium, and then a lot of infrastructure has been constructed in very recently. Uh, has not any uh, disturbance made on this particular ground? Not uh, Rohan, as of my knowledge, no. I mean, this particular location is uh, very reserved, but uh, I, I know, uh, I mean, uh, this location was surrounded by a lot of dwellings, a lot of houses. So even uh, even their, uh, their, their land, I, I have visited a few, uh, few people, I mean, few, few uh, uh, nearby uh, lands. There are also, you can see these, uh, these structures. I don't know, those are not, those are abandoned and uh, they will be automatically uh, uh, dying down. But this location, uh, this is about uh, uh, three, four acres of land and well, well preserved and anybody can uh, easily, uh, uh, I mean, uh, access to the location. This is well preserved. But as you said, uh, due to these, all these constructions, I mean, we are losing uh, our, our ancient uh, history uh, day by day, not, uh, not even in uh, Ibankadu, you go anywhere, uh, uh, the country, there, there's something for you to uh, preserve. I, I'm not going to say we, we should not go into uh, developments. I mean, that is not my idea, but uh, whatever we should preserve, that should be preserved. Very recently, I can remember one, uh, one ancient structure, which is more than 100 uh, to 150 years old uh, in, uh, in Fort that was totally demolished uh, uh, without, uh, without even the permission of the, uh, uh, the authorities. So they will let it die and then they will say, okay, this is not safe and uh, they, they are destroying. So that is not, I, 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 I mean, I, uh, I'm totally against that. But this particular location, yes, it is intact and uh, you still can go and uh, uh, see the place. Uh, yes, uh, Rangika, that uh, it, uh, yeah, same thing uh, because you mentioned about some of the clay pot in that particular area and also mentioned it is goes back to the iron era, right? Iron age. Yes. 
right have you found any iron product in this particular location uh i i i haven't done any any studies uh, there are on than just going and you know get experience this thing i don't think no uh, no, uh, no iron uh, iron stuff there but uh, there are a lot of clay pots uh, which is there in that particular small there's a small uh, uh, building constructed even inside that i can't i can't remember the, uh, in, there were any 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 stone uh, any 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 metal products i am not sure uh, rohan i i don't have a memory yes. uh, on, uh, on, on why i am asking because uh, because if it is in iron name this is very interesting because uh, usually you know that in the world, world famous uh, iron uh, smelting uh, place in the balangoda right they use that uh, that wind pattern wind pattern very continuous wind pattern to get the oxygen into the particular smelting process but here also ibangatu also at, as far as i know when i see the matches always that uh, commentators uh, mention about the very high uh rate of wind speed there right right H high rate of wind speed and it is continuous right throughout the year and then uh, that uh, think me to uh, think about that maybe they there might have some kind of uh, iron smelt in place in some imbagatu area that plus i ask about that because you mentioned about iron era because they are have a, is there any evidences for that i am not sure rohan i don't know actually i don't have any experience or uh, any any anything to say uh, with that well maybe uh, there's something uh, uh, for people to go and uh, research in that area well balangoda well uh, the, the uh, it's not because of the, the high wind uh, because of in singala we so hulang kapol then only you will be able to uh, uh, yes. i mean that that's that simple science yeah. here also yes as yes. you said uh, yes. there are a lot of uh, uh, i mean uh, wind uh, and high wind uh, uh, yeah. as as you said uh, you can experience uh, while watching a match uh, it's always with uh, it's really windy maybe yes uh, but uh, i can't remember rohan because uh, my, my i always love to go there and spend a few minutes uh, uh, just sitting there just to uh, feel myself about this uh, these beautiful uh, uh, creations but i never experience anything related to uh, uh, metal okay thank maybe, you uh, next time i'll definitely uh, think about that as well thank you happy to see you yeah okay. Professor Angika, uh, yes. I have a very general question. So, uh, you know, like as an academic, uh, so the um, academics are doing research and things like that. And so when they do research and uh, there may be a uh, time that uh, they may come up with the inventions. So, uh, so how do you, uh, how do you uh, look those people like so uh, people may plan it the staff uh, the researchers may plan it for a particular invention like uh, uh, they may have some dream and to uh, working for that and targeting for the uh, invention or sometime when they do research so it may come up with the accidentally there may be invention uh, so uh, in their uh, life so how do you look those differences and uh, what do you like to uh, comment on that right let me go a little beyond uh, what you are uh, what you are uh, beyond your fiction now let's say uh, i'm a uh, i'm a i'm a researcher we'll take this accident uh, accident uh, results later but uh, we'll, let's say you're planning for invention uh, i uh, i uh, i mean this is my personal experience this is what i'm going to do uh, if i'm going to plan for an invention let's say i, I also do research uh, which are not really targeting inventions maybe for something else but if i'm to ta target an invention what i always do is before stepping before uh, before writing the proposal before uh, writing for a grant before get uh, recruiting the student i always go and do a prior search to see whether that particular technology which i'm planning to develop is existing maybe in sri lanka maybe in the world so you have to do a prior search like a literature review you need to do a uh, you need to do a prior search it's it's raining here so it's we we need to do a, a prior search and uh, to see whether that particular technology is existing that is number one let's say uh, that technology is existing then you have to see whether you have anything any 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 sort of incremental development which you can do over and above that particular technology if it is yes then you can proceed if, let's say there's no i mean you will not be able to invent that because everything is already invented then don't ever go and step into that particular research area leave aside you go for a new thing let's say you found something new because that particular which you are going to plan is not existing 
in the uh, in the market everywhere anywhere in the world it is it is it is not uh, no you can't focus sri lanka and say okay, that is they are in uk but not in sri lanka there i have seen many inventors coming and saying okay this is not in sri lanka but when you go deeply and check that technology is available in another another country right so you are uh, api kiyanne in singhala lowet nadi lowik gahet nadi kiyala so you need to find an idea or a, or a, or a, or a small uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, small sense uh, which is not available everywhere then only you can go and say that you are going to create an invention right so once you find that the number one you do, you need to do is you have to create the structure targeting your end product uh, you, you need to plan your plan your research then let's say you get your student but whenever possible don't wait until you create your final prototype final mix you if you have the idea with the idea you go and file your patent application that is very much important because we are in a uh, in a in, in, in information uh, era now because anybody is ready to steal your idea so i have seen many people losing their patent just because they they never patented it until they uh, reach their final product don't wait such so you do you 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 file your initial patent uh, until you uh, until the patent granted you can uh, you can change your uh, uh, change your uh, patent uh, when i say patent uh, i think i i didn't explain what is this patent is i think uh, this is uh, this is the time for me to explain a uh, uh, patent in 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 a simple form i'll try to make it a little bit simple uh, let's say let's say we'll 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 take a small example not a not a paid not not take the the intellectual property out completely forget the intellectual property you take your own property let's say your land you you have a 10 perch or 20 20 perch land and uh, you say that is belongs to you you can't just say this belongs to you without a valid deed right valid deed just because you have a deed uh, written by a lawyer you can't say you can't say it is belongs to you unless you go and register a deed in the land uh, land uh, coordinator okay at the even a land registry ya tamai dan tan me right balanna we natural science mr mrs mrs when i coordinator kela dala email address eka dr silva can mute she wajira wajira your mic is on right so uh, i i was referring a uh, 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 deed so you unless you uh, you register your deed you can't say that land is belongs to you so register a deed or write uh, or write a deed uh, in front of a lawyer uh, lawyer need to uh, refer samanne behe namuth ekat ahandu unuwa eka engineering faculty ken offer karana වා එතන නම්බර් එකක් මොකක්ද මජිරා ඩි සිල්වා කතා කරන්න ඕනේ මේ කෝඩිනේටර්ට කතා කරලා අහන්න එක්ස්ටෙන්ඩ් ඉස් මී මජිරා ඩි සිල්වා යුර් මයික් ඉස් ඩෙන් කරනවද කියලා ඒ අදාළ කෝඩිනේටර් ඒ දී බෙටර් බෙටර් යු කෝල් හර් ඇන්ඩ් සේ බිකෝස් ඔය අරක හැමෝනේ ඉස් නොට් විත් ද බිනා ඇමතු සිල් ෂි ෆන්ටින් ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් එකේ යටතෙ කොන්ටැක්ට් කරන්න කාරණාව ඉතින් ඒ කැන් ඇයි කැන් නා පුට් හර් ඉන් ද plan. right you have to refer okay this particular plan number registered under uh, this local authority you are referring that particular plan number only then only you can write your deed so in the plan you have a left uh, left boundary the right boundary uh, north east south west you you have you you have the the full boundary so in uh, that is the physical property which you can which you and i can see and touch right uh, physical property i'm repeating you need to have a plan plan should demarcate your your boundaries then the plan should be referred in your deed and you have to write your deed right through a deed uh, the the uh, the property should be transferred to you that is again not enough you need to register the deed under the land registry that is physical property now we are talking about uh, intellectual intellectual property which you and i can't touch right which you and i can't touch but you are going to claim the uh, the rights for your intellectual property let me uh, compare the intellectual property with your physical property which i was talking before uh, in the intellectual property there also you should have to have your boundaries ready right 
you should know what are your boundaries around the knowledge with the knowledge or within the knowledge in the world you know something i know something and there's a general knowledge like uh, in, in your in your area you have a playground which is not belongs to anybody you have a the forest uh, government say those are government lands the government is again nobody right people think the government is government and they have all the powers no they they, they don't have any power unless you give so that's a different story so like that in, in intellectual property also there are knowledge which you and i can't say or claim that is belongs to us right that's that is that is known to everybody so that knowledge is there and there are knowledge which is belongs to other people which they have claimed so within all you have to demarcate your boundary writing the or demarcating that boundary we call writing claims this is existing this is uh, the existing knowledge so within that you are demar demarcating you are marking your boundary we normally say those are claims it those are i mean there's a legal way of writing but if you can get to know if you can learn the style you can easily write your own patent i have written uh, more than 20 30 patents myself and my students are now capable of writing a patent so they are well trained not from any international or a local coach under a local coach by practicing by experiencing they know how to write a patent now so <clears throat> you need to write your claims and you have to write your patent application and then just by filing your patent you can't claim that you own a patent so you have to then you have to go to the national intellectual property office you apply uh, for the patent and they will take some time like the the land registry will check the the previous owners then only they will register your uh, your, uh, your 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 deed so like that the intellectual property will take some months and years to check the uh, the legality of that particular knowledge component then they will grant the patent again they are not going to grant the patent they will first guess it they will guess it they announce that this particular knowledge is going to give the right of that particular knowledge is going to give to this particular person so if there's any objection the people can object for three months the gazette will be there for three months and no objections then only you will get the intellectual property you can see it's a long process from the day you invent to get the patent uh, sometimes it will get uh, it will be uh, uh, from 6 7 months to 10 15 years i have i, I know some patents will uh, uh, they they were there in the patent office for more than 10 years and the people will go and complain the intellectual property office saying i mean you are not doing your job right but please understand they are doing a, a real legal uh, job you can they can't help you to write uh, the patent because it's a legal entity so that will take definitely some time because of uh, uh, the i mean the, there there are certain limitations to find and go and check the uh, the, uh, the existing knowledge so once you get the patent then you can claim that is that is belongs to you so from the day you invent to the uh, the granting the patent that's a long time so for that make sure no lapses between them always make sure whenever possible the the first point where you are very sure with what you are going to invent before you waiting until your last uh, uh, the final product go and apply for the patent because you have time to do the modification but make sure the whole story within that particular document you can't bring a, a, a claim from the heaven and say that this also belongs to me no you can't do that you need to write your introduction and the preamble in your abstract and the prior everything uh, very clearly and correctly then only you can adjust your patent so that is another style uh, you need to understand before you uh, this is another very uh, actually i i i i recently got a, a, a issue uh, from uh, one good friend from my rune university uh, he actually uh, he pay, uh, he applied for the patent before one year he has uh, done a publication in a, in a conference so because of that that particular uh, document has uh, claimed as a prior his own publication because of his own publication now he can't get his patent because that is a known knowledge to the world because he has presented before uh, claiming his, his patent so make sure that if you are to get a patent if you are to get a get a uh, uh, targeting a intellectual property make sure don't ever publish that until you apply for your patent so that is all what i can say uh, uh, i mean tell you about your about your fiction so uh, intellectual property is a legal right you are going to get legal rights are not like you know going to the shop uh, to the super, supermarket and buying you have a big uh, long way a legal procedure then only you can claim that
Thank you, Professor Rangita. I just want to clarify a little bit more with your uh, explanation. So that uh, as you said that it, uh, until the last minute, uh, don't wait for the, until you get the product. So whether is it possible to um, uh, get the patent for the concept and the protocol that we develop? So possible. without possible. coming as a product. It's possible. So, is it, is it possible? Let's say you are, you, you are planning your research uh, 10 years down the line, but today you have the concept. Don't wait until you do your research. You get, you get the right, you get the security for your concept, but don't, don't get the security and keep it, uh, 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 keep it locked in a cupboard. You have the concept, you developed it, and please transfer that uh, to the community. That is one big mistake done by Many of our academics, many of the senior and junior uh, professors and lecturers doing, they say, wow, I mean, I have this much of patent, but never materialized, never gone into the community. They have the, they, 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 they have a lot of good uh, 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 chemicals uh, with them, but uh, one thing is they are not commercializable. You, you can't convert that to innovation. I mean, those are very good at, at the lab scale, but when you think of uh, scaling up, those are not working. I have, I have, uh, I, I'll show you one. I'll tell you one. Uh, I'm not really referring people, but uh, I, uh, there was a one uh, 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 chemical uh, related uh, product uh, developed in, uh, in Sri Lanka by one uh, few, uh, few scientists. They have developed a, a, a nano coating uh, uh, about the, uh, the tiny, let's say uh, uh, in fertilizer, they, they have been uh, come in a small uh, uh, bullet like right i mean you have a coating uh, right around the uh, uh, this uh, small piers and uh, uh, because of that particular new coating uh, it, it it will become a slow uh, releasing fertilizer you know let's say you uh, you spray some uh, urea within few minutes urea will be disappeared but with this coating that will that will slowly release uh, to the soil so uh, to apply this coating you need to get uh, one sphere by, by sphere and you have to uh, you have to just uh, apply uh, uh, at the lab scale it's it's it really uh, uh, working well at the lab scale but when you are trying to commercialize scaling that up just imagine you have tons of uh, fertilizer uh, spheres you get one by one paint one by one and that will cost a lot so you will you it's it's a new invention at the lab scale but you can't you can't convert that to uh, the, the community, you can't convert that to a mass, uh, mass scale production. So there are inventions which you can't commercialize uh, because, I mean, uh, because that is not ready, uh, ready to go to the market. So when you, when you, if you really want to be, do an impactful uh, research, make sure not the final result, but always think how you are going to scale the up. That is very much important. You can, you can create marvelous inventions, but if you can't convert that to an innovation, which can, which can, uh, uh, transfer that to the, the community that is really, really useless. So always before you start your research, like you aim your uh, final product, step uh, or think one step ahead and see how we are going to transfer this particular technology uh, to, the, to the community. That is very much important. Well, thank you, Professor. Um, Thanks, uh, Professor Pallavat, uh, for your nice, um, uh, nice remarks uh, about the presentation. Thank you very much. I, I can see a lot of uh, uh, good comments, no bad comments. I'm, I'm also reading uh, the, the messages like you do. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's, it's good to hear uh, there's something you, you managed to get from my presentation. I mean, that's my satisfaction at the end of the day. I believe there might be some more questions uh, from the audience. Why not? Why not you unmute your mic and uh, start be, uh, speaking? I mean, this is not a lecture, so I like you uh, uh, start talking. Then I think then I can hear one good. Uh, I mean, good old friends uh, from uh, Open University, like Rohan did. Yeah. Any more questions, sir? Uh, Professor Halwantar. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm Sanjay from the Chemistry Department. Uh, my question is, I have heard like we cannot obtain utility patents in Sri Lanka. Is that true? Yes, that's true. And also our, our patents related to IT, ICT. So we are not uh, yet uh, going there. So I, I think uh, they will change the Intellectual Property Act in the country very soon uh, by enabling uh, all this stuff. You go to a PCT uh, filing, it's, it's possible for utility type patents, but unfortunately that's not there in Sri Lanka. And then ICT types of uh, patents as well. So what is this? Is there like a specific reason for that? No, not really. Actually, uh, 
uh, you, t- uh, you you think about uh, uh, the patents. Uh, we had only patents, and then we we moved to industrial design. It's it's a gradual uh, development. I mean, we are in the. Uh, I mean, then we, unless we there's a need, uh, uh, the things will not change in the country. So we had to create the need in the country for whatever okay. we need to create the uh, the need. I mean, not only in, uh, in in with respect to patent, with respect to science and technology. Even in other things, we need to create the the need. Then only. Uh, people go. People go and uh, find uh, solutions. So we have to create the need. I think it's it's happening. It will happen. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Anything more? Yes, Professor Angika. I am Thelma from the Department of Chemistry. Yes. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm also interested about uh, one of your research related to natural coloring. I think you have used uh, belly fruit to get the natural color. Um, is that so? Uh, Thelma, yeah. not, uh, not to get the natural color, but uh, I use uh, belly and other uh, even, uh, 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 I mean, Daul Kurundu and all these. That is that has a natural bind. I'm, I'm doing uh, another, uh, another uh, uh, research. I have recently started to... Uh, Create a natural resin uh, uh, for uh, for, uh, for uh, as a flow finishing material because uh, you, can you remember I showed you a small video uh, on a on a flow finishing material so yes. I wanted to uh, develop a natural resin uh, which can uh, uh, which can I mean which has uh, which can improve the, the durability and uh, which can retain the uh, the finish uh, for a longer uh, longer duration so it's already started I mean if you are willing uh, I, I don't mind uh, working with you. Uh, those views. I always love to work with people uh, with different disciplines. And uh, my research team, I, I, I have 29 uh, students uh, with 11 PhD students uh, in, in my small research lab. Uh, well, uh, out of them, uh, only uh, only six are uh, hardcore engineers. All the others are designers, uh, uh, agriculture graduates, technology graduates, uh, architects, uh, QS, uh, 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 even uh, zoologists, biologists. So uh, it's a it's a it's a mix. So. I always love to get people with different disciplines and uh, working with my own discipline because my knowledge is there for civil engineering. So I need people with different backgrounds. So if you are willing, you are very much welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Professor Rangika. So, um, so that's what I was like interested because usually the natural colors are not durable at all. So I was thinking how you manage to get this durability. So have you studied in terms of uh, chemistry or the chemical structures or like how you get this durability, the color and the texture and so on? Well, uh, I, I have a pass for my A-levels uh, on, on chemistry. After that, I did a little bit of chemistry uh, at my first year at the university. After that, uh, I never touched uh, much uh, on, uh, on on chemistry. But uh, once I started uh, doing uh, research, I had to uh, study a lot on chemistry. Uh, 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 I mean, um, uh, both, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, with with lot of lot of materials and even even testing from Sen to Ravan to uh, 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 XRF XRD. So all these things I had to learn uh, from the stretcher. And I always love to get uh, uh, support from other uh, other people more than I go and study myself and learn the stuff. If I can explain, okay, this is what I want. Shall we do this? So uh, we are developing uh, another uh, another thing uh, with respect to uh, corals these days. That is to stabilize coral rubble. So it's a it's a uh, it's a purely a uh, uh, chemical development because I wanted to create a chewing gum type uh, chemical uh, uh, which can uh, easily flow into the flow through the the coral rubble and uh, stabilize them then and there. So I have the idea. Uh, the rest uh, sometimes I don't know. Okay, that's why I need uh, people with that expertise. I don't then I don't have to spend uh, days and hours of learning that because the the knowledge the person who's, have, who's having the knowledge. Is then and there, so we can get together and finally come up with a good uh, good solution. So uh, I, I uh, that is what I always uh, do. But at the same time, you know, while uh, while uh, while engaging in the research, I, I'm learning a lot even from my students because uh, I always give them a task. Okay, you go and study this and come and present uh, uh, the whole team every every uh, every weekend. Uh, we have a weekly uh, progress meeting. We all get together and. Uh, Every every day, uh, every week, uh, uh, minimum four people here. They have to present their research from the very first day uh, slide to 
uh, the current progress. So every every week we refresh uh, what they are doing and we discuss uh, how to how to replan. So we have a plan we are doing and we are replanning. So I, I recommend anybody any researcher. I mean I have twenty nine research students. Uh, it's not that easy spending. Uh, 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 I mean now it is pure online. But those days uh, one complete day we get together we have lunch together and uh, we, uh, we 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 discuss each other. It's it's not me. I'm the I'm not the, the big boss there. Sometimes for something uh, the big boss will be a student. So uh, there's no hierarchy in uh, in my uh, research career. There's no sirs and students. So we are we are a research team. So I have created. I mean that is my I, I could say that is my success because I'm, I'm, I'm I have a very good team working with me from batch tops to uh, just past uh, graduates at Moratua. We it's very difficult uh, uh, to have this particular research culture because everybody we feel civil engineers are the big bosses in the world. Thanks to Futa, uh, uh, I I was I was working with different disciplines. I mean that is one big place. Uh, uh, I was uh, my my mentality was completely changed because we. We as uh, Moratua people, we always think, okay, Moratua engineering, wow, they are the big people in the in the in the world, in the country. But only until I go to uh, Columbia University uh, Staff Club, uh, that uh, small place where we used to get a tea, that that is that is where I that uh, like the Vespubi, that is the place uh, where uh, uh, where things went uh, went in a different way because I started working and uh, especially listening to uh, many other disciplines up. Uh, uh, Big people in sociology, political science. I mean, once once I uh, once I feel them, once I once I uh, uh, start listening to them only, I realize there's a bigger world than uh, than engineering. Then uh, then then only we will start uh, working together. So working in a team was uh, taught to me uh, at Futa. I should give all due respect, even though I'm dissociated with uh, Futa for many years. I I should give the the full uh, due respect to Futa for making that particular beautiful environment within the university. Uh, community uh, keep keeping all other 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 uh, negative ones out. Uh, there are a lot of positive uh, uh, cons uh, things uh, in the in university system. Uh, thanks to Futa, I don't know whether that is there uh, 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 still because we used to exchange uh, uh, as a professional team, uh, and uh, with that particular social harmony we had. Uh, we we went beyond the university system and we were even engaging with uh, uh, national uh, activities as a team. So uh, that team spirit has to be there uh, in, uh, to uh, to become a successful uh, researcher. So uh, we still can uh, create. Uh, you uh, you have uh, a beautiful environment because you have a lot of faculties work within the work, uh, same premises. We don't have that luxury in our university. So that's why I'm trying to create that uh, environment within uh, within my uh, small lab. So uh, once again, I, I I should thank uh, Futa for uh, making me enlightened uh, on different different uh, disciplines uh, which lies in the, the university system. So Ardhvatur, I am Pallavatte. Hi hi. Yeah. So uh, thank you for my comment. What you have commented, I am I am deeply moved. Thank you very much for that. I think uh, this is what we should do. I think uh, also I was. Uh, involved long time with the Sri Lanka Inventors Commission. So this is what I have gathered through all that experience that uh, what we can really do is innovation, uh, but not that much invention. I think uh, this is the point that you also mentioned. That's why I was quite impressed. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Professor I am also totally agree with you that uh, we, the, all the uh, innovations or invention that should be uh, first we have to concern about the uh, environment. That is why we have a lot of problems today. Because, for example, uh, uh, we uh, go for the fossil fuel and we have burned all the world. But now we realize that we could have instead of going for that, we could have get it from the um, biomass. We, we we can easily now there are techniques developed to convert biomass to any sort of uh, uh, fuels that which we want to. Uh, produced today. So we could, if we, we, we develop the, by concerning the, the nature, we could have uh, not, not up, come up with the state for, for I think. So now the thing is that the, our students are not uh, aware of the value of the nature, I think. That also is a very big issue. Thank you. I think I think we should not, uh, I mean, just a small comment, a small addition uh, to uh, what uh, 
what you said. And, uh, well, I think uh, we should not wait until uh, the world change or the country change or even the country politics change. I think we have to be the change uh, uh, for the country and for, for, to the world. So not to go and change the masses. I don't, I don't think uh, the, the university academics should go to politics, but we should, uh, we should be able to change at least one uh, per day. If you change one, that particular person will change another. So like that, it will be a chain action. And finally, at the end of the day, uh, the, the world will change. So uh, I, I always uh, love to, uh, I mean, love to see people uh, copying, but I don't want to see anybody imitating uh, the other people. So copying is very much important in, uh, in, in the research career. So that you, if you can become a brand, uh, uh, it's not that easy, but once you become a brand, don't try to let uh, people to copy you. Uh, I mean, we, we come, coming to a level where uh, you are a brand in the in, in the in the country, uh, it's 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 very difficult. But uh, still, once you once you uh, become a brand, do always make sure you uh, you pass your uh, pass your stuff, but loan them to imitate uh, uh, imitate you. So I think uh, if you take Sri Lanka as a country, uh, uh, university academics are the real big brains in the country where you can even think of a change. Because any any profession, uh, they are not independent as uh, university academics. I mean, university academics are really, really independent, like they are independent and have the auto, um, uh, autonomy uh, to, to, to uh, do engage with a lot of research and other activities. They have the full freedom to go and uh, uh, talk uh, for other, other, uh, other social changes. I mean, uh, I, I, people think uh, the innovation and invention is only, only technology. I don't want to believe that. That is there everywhere, from the politics to uh, uh, social science. Everywhere you have uh, invention and innovation. Even politics. I mean, see, there are a lot of invention and innovation happening, and there are yet to uh, uh, happen a lot of inventions in the future. So we we'll, we have to wait and see. But uh, so whoever has the capacity, not only in uh, in technology, I I, I kind of request you to go and uh, invent and innovate. Uh, things in other disciplines as well. You may be an engineering professor, you may be a chemistry professor, but still, if you feel that you have a talent of uh, inventing, innovating in another discipline, please do that. I mean, you you have, you you are fed and you are taught uh, by the uh, the poor, uh, poor of this uh, country by spending for your education. You have a right to uh, talk for them. So, uh, and change the, the country with invention and innovation. That is, don't ever limit that to technology. That don't ever limit that to technology, innovation, technology. The invention and innovation is not the Arduino board. You and I talked about the artificial intelligence. No, that is that is keep keep the Arduino board out. There are a lot you can change with your your novelty. Don't try to follow the same thing over and over. We, we have we are failing for more than seventy three years now. So try to be inventing uh, and innovative in other areas as well. Uh, leadership, administration. Uh, Everything. I mean, uh, the way you dress, uh, to where you cut your hair. So everything. Try to be innovative. So uh, there are a lot to follow you. I'm very sure how much we say the the, the kids and the next generation is not uh, not really geared to them. The reason is us again. I mean, we have not trained them. We have not really passed our experience uh, uh, to them, and uh, they have nothing other than following. Uh, what is there in the YouTube? What is there in the internet? So that is what we do. But you you compare the other professions, the doctors. Their, their kids, they will not become doctors because they hate parents because they are not interactive. They are not really passing their experience to the, uh, to the, to the, to the next generation. We as lecturers, we do the same. So we always create another generation who hate the, uh, hate the profession of the parent, right? So that is the, that is the biggest danger because we, we are with our own activities. We are with our own comfort and we are not really passing our experience to the next generation. The only team in the country who are passing their experience to the next generation, next generation, that is the politicians. They are doing their level best and they pass their experience to the next generation. And that's why the next generation is going to uh, be, a, be a politician. But all, all of us, we don't do that. We don't pass our experience to our, our, our students. We don't pass our experience to our kids. So I think it's high time for us to rethink and rebuild the nation. Professor Ambika, uh, I have one more uh, thing to know from you. Uh, so you have actually uh, more than uh, 14 patents uh, up to now you have uh, received uh, during your journey, maybe 10 to uh, 12 years. So, uh, so actually it was 10 years. Uh, uh, it was 10 years. So it's great, uh, even two maybe in, within a year. So, so I would like to. I'm interested to know uh, that uh, the um, how much of uh, the the your uh, the knowledge that you uh, 
your invention it has gone to uh, to the society and just uh, if you can share that one that will be also uh, some idea we can actually to tell you there are one or two patents i couldn't uh, i couldn't commercialize because uh, the, i mean uh, uh uh they they were they were not quite ready to go to the uh, go to the uh, the, uh, the industry maybe uh, uh, the technology is not that useful but out of uh, out of all the 14 inventions uh, uh, i mean uh, you take the very recent inventions uh, very recently received patents all the other patents are in the market now uh because i am not uh, i'm not much interested in uh, uh uh selling the patent and earning money i always love to uh, transfer the technology to the co- masses and to the community so uh, uh, uh very recently we are doing uh, one big project uh, in uh, minipe uh, we are we are creating a, a, that was another fantastic opportunity i received uh, uh from uh, not from sri lankan government from the chinese uh, uh, chinese contractor sri lanka i'm very sure the sri lankan government will never give us a chance to uh, try or rather they believe our uh, creations in the country that's a sad side but uh, chinese government they uh, chinese contractor who's doing that particular mini way project uh, they realized these products are really really useful and they they invited me to do a museum in uh, mini pay uh, agri- uh, 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 it's it's really uh, related to uh, irrigation and uh, we are currently working on that particular project uh, with uh, seven inventions so all seven inventions will be there in that particular project so i'm i'm going to uh, uh tra- technology transfer uh, to the communities but uh, but holding uh, the intellectual right the reason is uh if i just uh, give away the the rights and make it an open open pay anybody will use and if they use it in a wrong way uh and if that particular location if that particular patent or the invention fail then that will be a black mark uh, for the invention so always i i will i'm ready to give away uh, my te- uh, technologies to communities but uh, keeping the hold uh, with me because i don't want to see any any of these uh, inventions are failing so i always uh, uh, we work with my students uh, and uh, they 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 have the right of uh, taking my patents uh, out we have uh, we have startups uh, for these patents and uh, all these things are in, in the may, many of i mean i i could say uh, eight nine of uh, these patents are in the market at the moment right now so uh, uh, well uh, that's why i i showed you some of these uh, living examples uh, uh, which are already in the market not not in in test cells those are in the market now Professor Angika, I have one question yeah, on the uh, air conditioning, uh, new technology uh, for air conditioning rooms. Now, I don't know whether it is applicable. It is. It can be applied for the existing building. But about the uh, the building that we are constructing uh, now, most of the building, even the opponents, they are constructed at two, three stories building. Their rooms are really uh, will be uh, air conditioned with the old technology with the machine. so is it possible to apply your knowledge or your technology there for the new building i, I know existing building may be difficult what about the application of the, you know, your knowledge for the new building dr javadar thank you actually that is the, that is a very re, very recently received patent and uh, uh, we uh, we are yet to do the uh, the final uh, real type uh, prototypes we we, we, we are, due to this lockdown we couldn't uh, do the real building it's it's un- it's all all done but we couldn't test the real building uh, we have created one big building and we we are we are testing this thing uh, but to tell you uh, uh, this is not uh, not only for the new buildings actually you can do that for old buildings as well you 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 have the wall and uh, you are going to create another another skin uh, for the wall with perforated uh, uh, clay uh, clay burnt tiles it's, it's like a tile you have a, you keep a small air gap uh, to the uh, existing wall and uh, and you have another double skin uh, another skin uh, to the wall and uh, through uh, through this uh, ventilation uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this structures new skin act as a uh, structural cooling agent and uh, that will get cool and uh, with that you can uh, you can uh, you can make your indo uh, uh indo comfort uh, you you can make the indo indo cooler but uh, that will not exactly work as a artificial air conditioner uh, which you and i enjoy today because uh, that will uh, that will reduce both latent and sensible heat both like uh, that will reduce the temperature and that will reduce the humidity level as well so uh, you will not be able to reduce the humidity level in the room you you are not really succeeding uh, uh sucking out the uh, the humidity but the temperature only so you will not get the same comfort but definitely you will uh, you will feel comfort because uh, in in thermal comfort there's something called uh, 
uh, psychometric chart and within the psychometric chart it's not a dot it's a it's a area it's a region where you can feel comfort so you have a high uh, uh, humidity value low humidity value and high uh, the, the maximum temperature and a low temperature so like that you have a you have a small uh, area where you are comfortable so with this particular system you will not get experience the same uh, condition as an air conditioner but still you can uh, you can feel comfort uh, inside the building but to tell you i mean since you have talking about since we're talking about the air conditioning spaces uh, well uh, this air conditioning spaces we are we are we are using very wrongly because our uh, neutral temperature is 36 uh, centigrade normally we can uh, we can have uh, the 20 the 26 centigrade we can go below 20 uh, we, we can go up to 24 and we can go up to 28 beyond the 28 centigrade again you are not comfortable again below the 20 uh, 4 centigrade you are not comfortable you may have seen people with the air condition you are uh, ladies they they covered the whole body with their with their sari because it's not comfortable just because the temperature is down it is it is it that it doesn't mean that you are in a comfortable uh, space so our in our, our our people especially the sri lankan being in a tropical climatic condition where the neutral temperature is the 26 centigrade we still allowed to stay in uh, centigrade the uh, 18 centigrade uh, temperature without knowing the basic concept so that is not the comfortability you should achieve the comfort zone is 24 to 28 maximum is 28 uh, minimum is 20 uh, 24 so within that only you are comfortable but really speaking you are not comfortable uh even uh, within your air conditioning space so this particular system can bring you to the real comfort zone again so uh that is possible for new buildings and old buildings as well so this uh, the system which have developed and which have received the patent okay recently. thank you what about the uh, use of electricity for the new technology well uh that is uh, uh, another good question uh, dr avardhana well uh, you if you let's say you can't uh, you can't uh, you can't create the natural air flow uh, within your building you can have air suction uh, it's not like uh, uh, you know cooling and uh, ex uh, the expanding and contracting uh, air uh, city uh, in the air conditioning space you are creating air flow within the building so if you can't create it naturally with where i mean uh, uh let's say a building uh, with a natural air condition natural wind ventilation you can do it but you have to do a proper design uh, some buildings you may have seen that it's, it's it's beautiful you have all the openings but still there's no uh, hardly no uh, uh, wind speed within the within the structure it's not comfortable if you come to my house actually Uh, i don't have uh, i don't have fans i don't have uh, uh, stuff it's 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 uh, it, it has created with uh, natural air flows so if that sort of a building you can easily create this without uh, without air without without air electricity without 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 active power but let's say uh, you don't have that particular wind uh, natural wind flows within your within your structure within your volume you can have a uh, uh, exhaust fan fitted to the uh, the main wall and you can give, you can create a artificial suction uh, through the wall so that is possible both ways it works okay thank you thank you you're welcome uh professor halathur it's sanju again from the chemistry yes, department uh, i have a question because uh, i i saw you have used some natural material in some of your works and almost uh, all yeah so then when it comes to scalability how difficult or easy is it to source the you know raw material well uh, sanjeeva that's why i said uh, natural to near natural i mean always some of, let's say daul kurundu if i'm going for a uh, mass scale production with daul kurundu it is not going to work yeah. right so you get the uh, the natural property natural material and you study what what exactly gives that particular uh, uh, the the need uh, need property okay Then you you can artificially create that later i mean it's not a big amount let's say i am using uh, uh, you may if you are, if you can remember uh, where you touched this particular the ulkurundu uh, term uh, that was uh, to develop uh, uh, that wall party actually uh, uh, that was a uh, little bit of a, an accident uh, uh, not really an accident actually that was uh, uh, something uh, which suddenly came to my mind uh, uh, i mean we have uh, this alum uh, I, i don't know whether you have worked with this alum uh, alum water sludge what is our what this this uh, this uh, this uh, clay is not the normal clay uh, you go to biagama water treatment plant uh, they get the, the the river water i'll get, take uh, one or two minutes to explain this uh, uh, this thing uh, they get the the river water and they add alum and with alum this all these uh, the fine particle will settle down and then only you will get the clear water out 
and you add the uh, the chlorination and all this stuff and you will get that will be drinkable that's a difference to it but this alum uh, yeah, alum uh, clay is like a sponge so there are a lot of cavities you can't use that for anything any activity it's, it's going for landfill very recently there was a not recently last year or year before uh, just before uh, this uh, water board uh, requested me to do something for this particular material uh, they had a, a big issue they had uh, they had uh, this uh, sedimentation tanks and one tank was uh, uh, broken uh, uh, while operation and uh, that went to the uh, the kalani river people were bathing there and finally they found then they then they uh, go down and uh, coming up they found uh, the, the everything was uh, full with uh, clay and there was a big protest against uh, uh, the water treatment plant so uh, like that i mean this this sludge is a big big issue and we have we have tons of uh, uh, clay coming uh, 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 for a day and it is just going uh, to landfills so we got it and we tried to chemically develop this particular thing but it was a failure for one and a half years it was we tried with lot of stuff it, it failed and uh, uh, and one day i uh, uh, i have one uh, good student uh, Uh, working with me and he he always every morning he goes to the temple and come to the uh, come to the university so uh, he he has a uh, 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 guinea pig tea and uh, some uh, some coconut oil uh, uh, with him uh, i came to the uh, the lab and i said damika uh, uh, you have oil with you and he said yes i have oil in my uh, uh, vehicle and i said uh, okay bring the the oil and i mix the oil uh, and few other things uh, with the with the clay and i i i i fired it and finally i managed to convert the uh, this alum uh, to another workable material right with the same color so uh, and then i i i was trying with lot of chemicals but uh, that particular chemical reaction that was an accident i mean to tell you that was a pure accident but still we managed to find a, a scalable way uh, for the natural uh, natural uh, as a replacement uh, for the natural material so like that always you start working with the natural material it's a small quantity i mean you take uh, uh, 10 kilos of uh, 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 the powder what you need is only 100 grams of uh, the chemicals so compared to what what all artificial chemicals in the market 10 kilo uh, for uh, with uh, 10 uh, 100 grams of chemical is is negligible with what is in the market so you always started with the natural stuff you get the property from the natural and try to artificially or, uh, or try to near naturally uh, replace the material sometimes you it is possible sometimes it is not possible if it is not possible uh, then that product cannot go into the market because you can't scale up all that's why i said always try to keep a track Uh, on what you are developing it's not the final product you are developing you should create something marketable something something scalable okay thank you first welcome here we have some more questions uh, because we have time other 10 15 minutes time uh there's one question related to uh, designs actually uh, if you are a creative person i mean if you are not creative with uh, material you are not creative with uh, chemicals but you are very creative with your pen and pencil then you can uh, you can claim for industrial designs let's say uh, take the bicycle you have uh, you have two wheels and you, you have to pedal it but if you can come up with a way you don't have to mechanically prove it but if you can come up with a new design where uh, the whole uh, thing uh, the uh, i mean can you remember this uh, disruptive uh, uh, invention innovation so you 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 can come up with a new design what you need is a piece of paper and uh, and a pencil and you can claim industrial design that doesn't uh, have a bigger bearing like uh, in uh, the patent but still you can own your intellectual property these industrial designs have uh, have a not can't say similar but it's it, it's again another way of uh, protecting your intellectual property in terms of design so if you are creative with your pen and pencil do i mean not the copyright i'm i'm, I'm referring uh, like uh, uh, yohani did i mean it's it's a reference story but uh, academically uh, in a professional way if you are to come up with uh, new designs you can easily get the industrial design uh, uh, from the intellectual property office that uh, that option is available uh there was a question uh, is the uh, Uh, is there a particular reason for selecting that shape you have uh, used all right yeah 
uh, uh, student uh, who is doing uh, that research with me, uh, the PhD with me, he's a he's a designer. He's a product designer. He's not a he's not an engineer. He's not a uh, chemist. He's not a uh, zoologist. He's a he's a he's a designer. My idea was to come up with a new design which uh, the coral can easily uh, uh, stuck into the uh, the material because there's a material development in a different way. So we have we have to develop the material not in uh, in terms of the uh, uh, the strength but in terms of the surface finish. Because you know the coral is not really coming and attacking, attaching into uh, uh, every wall. So you have seen these uh, rubbles, big boulders. Uh, they dump to the uh, the sea, but those dump, uh, boulders will not uh, attract. Uh, rather, you know, bomb, uh, they, they 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 were not bonded uh, properly with uh, the corals. <clears throat> corals. So uh, one side, one direction. We are developing the material and the the surface appearance, and then uh, the other one is uh, this uh, uh, the shape. So that's why I selected uh, this designer because I wanted to have a have a structure which can be easily assembled uh, with because this is this is underwater you can't just you know uh, connect with uh, nuts and bolts it it should be a natural structure which uh, which can which can uh, naturally fit it there let's say if there's a tsunami or some uh, some terrible wave comes and uh, dismantle the whole structure still again at uh, at with uh, with uh, less effort we should be able to. Uh, uh, we assemble them all together. So we have two structures ra running uh, in the in the coastal area uh, now. One is that uh, uh, that uh, be uh, be uh, honeycomb structure. Uh, uh, if you can run on uh, uh, this uh, uh, hexagon structure, uh, so that is one uh, where you can you can keep them and you can easily create a platform where you can walk. And the other one is uh, creating a bridge. Uh, with uh, with again uh, with the uh, upcycle material uh, uh, going with the circular economy and uh, uh, those uh, those pieces you can assemble them uh, in a, in an easy way and uh, there you can plant the uh, plant the corals and the top surface can be used uh, as a platform it's as a new bridge which you can just uh, walk through if anybody want to dive uh, go and see through the, the corals they can dive and see through but they uh, the biggest issue with uh, the coral, uh, especially close to the seashore, is people just walk over the uh, the corals and they damage the the coral reef. So to avoid that, we have we have created these two structures with which can be easily uh, assemble and even uh, even take that from somewhere and uh, reassemble at another place. So that's why we have selected that uh, those shapes after a lot of iterations, a lot of uh, studying uh, uh, after thinking of the uh, the uh, the. Um, you know uh, uh, the, st uh, the strength uh, and also uh, uh, the, more than that the I mean we can we should be able to do that but let's say the fish they can't swim uh, through the system uh, uh, under that and you they can't reproduce their next generation that that's useless so we have to think about that as well so after thinking all the all we have came uh, we came up with uh, that that designs.